Hop, 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 Burger Town, hi. Uh, I was thinking when you mentioned it in the chat, it reminded me, oh, whoa, yeah, Burger Town made their own synth model, whoa. Um, how much experience do you have with like 3D modeling stuff? Because I remember when uh, I did the, the whatever, like the Kell of Community Night meetup, he told me, oh yeah, I got my D2 character in here. Pff, no problem, I'm so cool. Was that like one of your first like from scratch things? Gyoju, hi. Xenobi Chronicles 2 update? Well, you know, I actually streamed over there for like four to five hours uh, yesterday. It was really fun. Uh, I am done with chapter seven. We did most of it on stream and I started chapter eight. The plot's real good. It's real nice. Oh, that was your first fully completed model. It looked really good. Oh, we hopping. A new record. Hi, Golden. Hi, Soren. How's everybody doing tonight? I'm gonna sip my tea. I got throat coat tonight. Mm. Oh, it was posted in my Discord under game suggestions, but does everybody know that the creative team behind Wander Song, the music that's playing, and Chicory just put out a Kickstarter for their new game? And so we're playing a Critter Collection game today with Cassette Beast, and I've been playing it for a bit. Um, but they were gonna release their own version where the critters play like volleyball. <laughs> they make relationships with each other. It looks really cute. I am going to support literally anything that team does. A uh, Wander Song was beautiful. I basically cried during it, and Chicory was beautiful. So I'm sure their new game is going to be really cool too. It's storming here, the cozy kind. Bennett, hi. We stretching? I'm going to stretch. Dio Scott, hi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm stretching. Oh, stretch. Oh. Gosh, I love stretching. Yeah, I'll probably support their Kickstarter. I thought about it, but I haven't done it yet. Yeah, it's called Beastie Ball. It looks really good. <laughs> Caffeine, hi. Good afternoon, Caliph. How am I today? Oh, I'm doing really good. You got kind of a preview of something I'm going to talk about on my post-it because we were just chatting in DMs about it. But uh, I'm happy to say that what I did, it helped out. It was a good decision. I'm actually curious because I'm thinking about games from creators that I have played. What did what is the unsighted team doing? Who made that game? What are they working on now? Let's see. Studio Pixel Punk made unsighted. <laughs> Apparently they're selling a plushie of the main character from Unsighted. That's actually pretty cute. I guess since May 16. I don't know if they public revealed if they're working on anything else, but that was such a cool game. That was really, really nice. Have I considered taking up a little garden or some plants? I don't know if I have any photos of my husband's little garden that he's been tending to in the backyard, uh, but I should take some photos. I think it was maybe for Christmas or some type of like birthday. Uh, his sister, uh, they got us some like wildflower seeds and he just sort of scattered them about in this little planter that he made in the backyard. And they're starting to come in, they're real pretty. He also has uh, the arch that we got married under. He put some like growing vines all around it and they're starting to sprout now. So it's looking really good. He's kind of awesome. Arlo Levy, hi. Oh, I got some Kellef arrives. Whoa, whoa, hopping on in. Hi, Jamie. Hi. How's your night going? You are an arriver. So true. So arrived. <laughs> I mean, this channel is the exclamation point arrive channel and the Nardo is whatever he is. 
Hi. Oh my god, I have also arrived to the stream. Hi. Rex is a big boy now, I know. <laughs> god, that was such a cool, like, section of the video game, the end of chapter 7. How y'all doing? How has your weekend been? Are y'all ready for the week ahead? Are y'all ready to be green and photosynthesize with me? You know, that's the real plan. I told everybody, oh, I'm gonna be playing cassette piece. It's a lie. We're just gonna lay down on the floor of the forest, talk about our feelings, stare at Scott. Everybody stare at Scott right now. <laughs> this is your first directive. Wow, Calif is a super cool dude. Seven moons. That's bunch. That's a bunch, it is. <laughs> I I love the inflection that Justin TTS had there. That's a bunch. You know um that one scene from, what is it, Kung Pao? Wow, that's a lot of nuts. I feel like it's like, whoa, that's a bunch. I feel like the same voice actor could have done that. <laughs> Calif arrived real. Oh, y'all just summoned me like a spirit bomb. Exclamation point arrive. <laughs> I just had to appear. Nardo is the TOS channel. Uh, Very much so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. But yes, yeah, Scott, thank you so much for seven months. I super appreciate it. I hope you have been doing well, taking good care of yourself. Camo Kangi. Yeah, can you find where the kangaroo is? This is like a magic eye type of picture. Um, everybody close your eyes. Okay, count to five. Okay, while you're counting, I'm gonna hide around the screen and uh, you have to do your best to find me, okay? So you can open your eyes in one, two, okay. So just tell me where uh, you think I am and uh, I'll let you know if you're right. Just uh, give me some like pixel coordinates and then uh, we'll make sure that uh, we'll, we'll submit the survey. I'll open up in Photoshop. I'll make sure it's right there. Uh, did anyone say in the lower left? Oh my God, lower left is right. How'd you find me? You're crazy. You're so good. <laughs> you're behind chat. Oh, I would always hide behind chat. Y'all got my back. Oh, thank you, Golden. <laughs> did you? Oh, ba -da -ba, astral puppy. Hi, welcome on in. Are you an astral puppy? Is in like your you have like galaxy type of patterns on you? That'd be pretty cool. The camouflage is crazy. I know. The thing is, I grew up in a military family. My mom owned like the camouflage kind of clothing, the whatever they call them. And you know, I just knew. I knew my calling as soon as I saw it in her closet. You're definitely here, <laughs> trying to vibe just a little bit. You can barely see the uncontained energy. <laughs> so yeah, it's the start of the stream, and as regular viewers know, I have a nice thick post-it full of stories from the last time that I was live, which was Thursday, and I'm just going to talk about them. And this part of the stream usually takes anywhere from 45 to 60 minutes, so if you're here for the video game, know that it'll take that long for me to get there, most likely. But this part of the stream is very fun for me as the streamer, because I just get to ask chat, hi, how you doing? Did something good happen in your weekend? Is something exciting coming up for you in this next week? No matter what it is, I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to talk to you and get to know y'all better. But just to start, I'm gonna go through my post-it top down, and we're kinda gonna jump around from my stories to your stories, and we're just gonna vibe. We're just gonna talk a little bit. You know what a great way to vibe is? You know what a wonderful way to hang out is? Well, um, I think it's with pizza. I think pizza is like the ideal way to hang out. So my husband and I had like an impromptu pizza party. Oh, let me hide this really quick. There we go. My husband and I had like an impromptu pizza party. It was pretty cool. Uh, he told me the morning of, he's like, Hi, Calif, uh, a couple of furry friends are going to come over and I'm going to make pizza. And I'm like, okay, sure. <laughs> uh, and I told him directly, I'm still going to play VR chat tonight. Just so you know, I'm not going to hang out the whole time. Like, I want to make sure we're on the same page. And he said, don't worry, you can just have dinner and run away whenever you want. And I said, I love you. So for people who don't know, my husband owns a very fancy pizza oven. This is the temperature in Fahrenheit. This is low. This shit could get up to like 800 degrees Fahrenheit. It just happened to be 625 right here. But uh, you can see uh, that, the, you don't know if you can actually tell, but there's wood burning in the background. That's the pizza it's cooking. That's my phone. <laughs> I didn't even know. You can see the Kangi right here on my phone case, but there they are. Yeah, and I have a Snurl for people to know Snurl. I got that right there. 
um, since the last time that we have had, like, a pizza party, my husband got, like, these little discs that the pizzas can rest on. Previously, he just had the nude, completely naked pizza cooking in here, but now they're cooking on these little things, so... This is, I think, a better solution because, you know, it's not going to get stuck to the bottom, which is always, like, a very gentle fear about things. But, um, yeah, I cataloged the whole process, not only for him, but I wanted to share on stream. Uh, he made the dough by hand. He made the sauce by hand. Uh, he made the sausage uh, by going to the store. But, yeah, he did a lot of wonderful things because he's a beautiful, amazing husband. We are a pineapple on pizza household. Don't worry. We are cultured. Uh, but this is what they look like before they're they're thrown into that cool oven. Here is the result of all of his beautiful effort. Isn't it so good? Ooh. Um, he had three. I don't remember the breakdown of all the flavors, but we had like the Hawaiian type. We had this one that was like sausage and pepperoni. And I'm pretty sure the last one was just like sausage and cheese. But yeah, that was my Friday <laughs> after work was over. It was pretty cool. It was pretty great. You had to leave VR early on Friday. It was nice seeing the familiar furry faces from a VRC event. Yeah, I don't know when I'll be able to hold another one of those because I have so much that I'm like behind on right now. <laughs> Not only like with my job and hobbies. So I think maybe sometime either July or August, I'll, I'll have energy and time to put together another like Kellef community event. And this one is gonna be toe bean themed. Uh, people are just gonna load in and immediately get stepped all over. I hope you're very excited. I love toe beans one. Welcome in, hi. Um, I, do, I know I'll do another one of those at some point. Uh, it's, it's always very fun. I know people have asked me to make it like a bi-weekly or a monthly event. It's only been the one of one so far, but it will happen again at some point, I'm sure. That's four degrees too high. I know. <laughs> it was at 619 at one point, and I told my husband, hey, can you make it 10 degrees less? I think that's an ideal pizza temperature. And he just looked at me. He just stared at me. <laughs> Raw dog and pizza cooking. Oh, I know. Raw ratten. That's what he is. I know. That was my face the whole night, Levy. <laughs> pizza parties are so vibe. So true. Kellef Khan? Kellef Khan real, I know. Meet me at my very blue house. Just identify me via Google Maps, uh, and that's how you're gonna make it to the pizza party, okay? Oh, that was still a good hop. Hi, Deckies, hi. Um, so this is really nice. It was a very fun time. I always enjoy eating my husband's delicious cooking. I always enjoy seeing new local furries, which there was one. There's this person that my husband had met and talked to before and I never seen before named Dandy, which is such like a good, positive, fun name. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I met somebody named Dandy and then we had a, a couple other friends over who I'd met before who are very nice. And you know, we just talked, we had the pizza party. And since I had already told my husband and I had set the expectations after dinner, after I hung out for a little bit, I told him, so, yeah, I'm just going to go VR chat, okay? <laughs> and he said, yeah, go have fun. <laughs> so I left. I am a weirdo. There were still people in the house hanging out, chatting. Not me. I'm just I'm just in a virtual world hanging out with cool furries. Wait, you said you would step all over all of us with your toe beans? Well, there was a hypothetical situation, but if we're trying to turn it into a reality, I don't think it's such a bad idea. You are right. I'm going to sip my tea. Mm. All right. Oh, so I forgot about this. So that new local furry who I never met before named Dandy. Uh, I actually talked to them about Street Fighter 6. I love when I meet somebody I've never met before and I'm just like, connection point, now, let's go. And I think thanks to streaming and VR chat and all the years of cons and everything like that, I feel like no matter who I meet, no matter what person, where I find them, I always find something to connect over. <laughs> I haven't had time to like grind this weekend in Street Fighter 6. That's part of the reason that I do want to stream it this upcoming Tuesday. Not only just because it'll be something different, but because, oh wow, if it's part of the stream, I will definitely have time for it. So I think it'll be fun. I'm looking forward to that. And I mentioned VR chat. VR chat's always a wonderful time. I have some photos right here too. 
So these are all people who are wonderful, who've been by the Twitch stream many a plenty of time. A couple of them I met for the first time in virtual reality yesterday. This individual up top is Robikin, and they had messaged me, I think like a week or so before, telling me, oh yeah, hey Caliph, I'm finally in VR. We talked about it before, we've exchanged stories about the hypothetical cool aspects of being a virtual animal with your virtual friends, and they said, bet, I'll see you on Friday. <laughs> so... Yeah, I hung out with them. It was very fun. This is somebody who, when I was, you know, buying pens, I talked a lot of back and forth with. So I told them when they loaded in, I was just like, Robikin, nice to see you. We chatted for a little bit. And I said, do you want to be the first person that I write an in-person letter to with a fountain pen? And they were like, oh. and I got to hear their actual gasp, <laughs> which was very cute because I've still not done that. Um, I got I got one new thing in today that's going to be part of my letter writing repertoire, um, but it was missing a piece, I think, Lamau. <laughs> so one of the things that I had on my birthday throne that people were kind enough to fund uh, was a essentially like wax melter so you can make, make seals. So I got the little thing that has a raised platform where you can melt the wax. I got the little thing that's kind of like a teaspoon shape with a wooden handle so you can melt it using a candle. I got the candles. It didn't come with any wax. <laughs> so I have nothing to melt uh, to make a wax seal out of. So I have to go out of my way to, to get some of that. But I have every single other thing, I guess, aside from envelopes. But those are cheap and easy to find. So I'm not worried about that. I don't need like a super cute envelope to feel happy if i have the wax seal and if i have a sticker on it and i have the handwritten letter that's like everything like what else do i need i don't need a pretty letter melt the cheese <laughs> the worst fondue kit it's been found <laughs> oh no choice i gotta use marshmallows i'll make it extra sticky well that means i'd have a sticky dragon seal i think some people would like that also draco hi <laughs> marshmallow i don't think it said hi hi so, yeah, there's a lot of cute people. McCoy, always adorable. Look at them. They're going to be somebody that I see at Ratricon in July. I was thinking about it as I was scrolling down my group chat for Ratricon, which is going to be a friend group thing that I'm doing in Seattle with like 20 something people. I don't know if there's anyone on that list that I've already met in real life. Like so many of my Twitch friends that I've hung out with over these past couple years on this platform, I've already met like at different cons or in personal real life visits. This trip is going to be weird because it's going to be like new people all around, new quotation marks because they're new in the meat space, but not in the heart space because they definitely have a spot there. Hi, Crystal. Hi, how's it going? So I also got to meet Juniper, Raw Bob, as some people know them. Um, look at this cute photo. Look at them just like staring on over, staring at the silly goober of a Kangi that's me. I know Juniper's so nice. Juniper is one of those people where they're like, oh, hey, you gonna be in VR? And I say, yeah. And I show up and they're not there or vice versa. <laughs> so we kept like missing each other over like these past like two months or whatever. So I'm like, okay, whatever, it's gonna happen. So leading him to this Friday, they stopped by, I think it was either, a, it was a Nardo stream, I think. They stopped by and I said, Juniper, are you gonna be there on Friday? And they said, yeah, I'm gonna be there. And I'm like, cool, I'll see you there. Um, so I, I made it a point <laughs> to actually like hang out with him and talk a little bit. Cause I like that. If if anybody I know from this Twitch.television chat that I care about and I've talked with, it shows up to an event that I'm at in virtual reality and I have not talked to them before, I will seek them out and I will have a conversation with them. So uh, I actually, I saw Haisha, who I did not get a selfie with, but I've seen and talked with Haisha on like uh, Setsuna streams and just in random chats. So I was just part of a conversation with somebody. I was talking with like Warby and Hurry and I'm like, blah, blah, blah. You guys are so cool and fun. And I used my laser eyes and I'm like, Arr! and they focused on uh, Haisha like halfway across the map. And I'm like, I gotta go. I'm leaving this conversation because I've never talked to this person in virtual reality. And I just, I just bounced over there. <laughs> oh, hi, Juniper. I see you be blushing. <laughs> yeah, it was nice chatting. It was fun talking. Luby, hi. I Kangi Roo. <laughs> Excuse me, Kangi Maru. 
Yeah, it is fun that you say that. Chaos, chaos, hi. How are you doing? Cool, I'll see you there. <laughs> I mean, Levy, if you pop by VR chat, I will bend your ear and giggle and wiggle into it. Well, not wiggle into your ear. Just, just talk. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Kangaroo? Yeah, that's me. Hi, everybody sleeps. So... Speaking of kangaroo, we already talked about paws. Look at this fucking paw size difference happening. <laughs> These are right next to each other. This is not a trick of perspective or anything like that. This is my friend King Kangaroo, who, as you can tell, has modified his avatar. These are the size of his beans compared to mine. Sheesh. <laughs> they were just laying down, just like, oh yeah, uh, my paws? Mm-hmm. They're just feeling kind of plump today. <laughs> so, yeah, there we are. There we are. Actual paw size difference. Kellef paws failing the community. King's paws. Oh, well, I think they're kind of a treat right there. It is some rough sketches for email ideas. So you're less nervous about explaining with whoever you want to commission. That's awesome. That's super cool. I super recommend that. If you're commissioning an artist and you have even the vaguest want of a certain pose or a certain idea, even like the worst MS Paint sketch is better than just, I think, a bundle of words. Hi, Eberger. You're comfy, cozy. Happy to see your favorite Kangi. Oh, I love that for you. And I love that for me because it means you're here. Hi, Laconius. Hi. Oh, Andy, did you end up getting some uh, some Street Fighter Six sets ins with friends? I saw you in a Discord channel. I see we're all just bullying each other. <laughs> Chat is cute, no exceptions. This is true. If you're here, you're adorable and you're very cute. See, so, yeah, my Friday VR chat was very fun. Um, I think it's easy for me to forget like how many wonderful, cool relationships that I have formed in virtual reality, because I've been doing it for a number of years now. Uh, I've been doing it for almost as long as I've been streaming. It's been about two and a half years. And over that amount of times, whoa, whoa. I've gotten to know so many wonderful, cool people. So many people who aren't even pictured here, who weren't even mentioned. But running around those virtual worlds is always a really good time. You think Marissa is probably your main for now? Let's go. Oh, you had a bunch of matches with Discorded and Azure? Oh, I love that for you. Uh, you're above average and I can't change that. Yeah, you're right. You're so true. I do believe that. Bah. <laughs> is that like a sheep saying? Bah. Chat is cute and we will, we will make you know it. You will be known as adorable. So true. Bah. <laughs> yeah, Gyoju definitely bah sound right there. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, I forgot. So I was just talking with like different people in virtual reality and I had this conversation and I ended up just making it a tweet earlier today. So if Kangaroo was a bartender, what do you do? How do you make a perfect mixed drink? So you just pour all the ingredients into your pouch. A macro just picks you up and kind of like shakes you, maybe stirs you a little bit depending on the cocktail mix. They turn you upside down. Then they just pour that mixture out from your pouch into a glass and all you have to do is recover from being dizzy and then you have the perfect mixed drink and you get some, the macro gets a little lap, and I kind of think it's a great time. I think this is definitely uh, the type of picture that I would love to see. <laughs> How's it treating me? It's treating me really well. It's been uh, a very eventful and successful day, I would say. What about the micros in my pouch? Well, they get the drunkest experience of them all because they get mixed up with the cocktail. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Andy. They get drunk as hell. Swimming lessons. Oh, Mage Kai, you also got the Versus badge. I like the Versus badge. Like, um, I, I'm probably never going to turn off my partner badge because, hell yeah, I worked hard for it and it's there and I like it. But the Versus badge, it looks really good. They get shaken, stirred, and dizzy. They get all the above. So true. Kama, hi. I thought of you earlier because I only had, like, what, 15, 20 minutes to play Street Fighter 6 today? So I just did some muscle memory stuff in training mode, and I tried out some different, like, combo routes. And I'm like, okay, that's at least a little bit. I dipped my toes in at least a small amount today to remember how to play in the future. It looks cool. You have no idea <laughs> what you got it for. 
I'm pretty, I thought it was for, was it for the Twitch Rivals event that happened recently? Maybe it was like, uh, oh no, they had the Super Ultra Combo week or whatever leading up to Street Fighter VI's launch. I think it was related to streams using that hashtag. Yeah, when I was on for like the 1520, I remember that you told me you sent me a friend request, so I accepted it. Yeah, yeah, so I didn't do the parry the ball, but I did do the destroy the truck in arcade mode. It was fun. Oh, you made a hotkey script to swap your jump button to the space bar. I've never played on keyboard. Is it just up? I'm guessing it's up is uh, what it normally is, right? Or maybe W? It might be W. Oh, we toasting. Let's go. Hell yeah. <laughs> Default is W, and you took that as an L, and you made it a space bar instead. That's a fun. I wouldn't have thought about keyboard controls in a fighting game. I know my friend Ray plays Melty in the keyboard. ASD in space. That does sound more fun. I think I would like that. I mean, I use a hitbox, uh, so I essentially think it would be the same kind of finger placement, because the thumb is the up on that. L is your heavy kick, so the opponents take the L. So true. <laughs> Admit you're cute or no more belly naps. This is a threat. This is a very powerful and real threat that deckies will do. So I had one of those days yesterday. And before I talk about this, I want to phrase and iterate very correctly with a bold, italicized, and underlined and doing great, and I'm in a wonderful mood, and I had a great day. But yesterday, I definitely had some struggles mentally. I had like a really awesome morning, like I did a bunch of like hobbies, and I was killing it, and I'm like, wow, I'm so cool. And at some point, I had like mean things in my head, and this is, so this is like my anxiety voice talking, this isn't me. My anxiety voice is like, bro, like, why can't you just do Xenoblade art, video editing, Street Fighter 6, your full-time job, responding to messages, VR, and every possible social engagement that every friend reaches out to you about? Why can't you just do all of that, like, every day? Here you are just doing, like, two or three things? What a loser. So that was the type of, like, internal voice I was dealing with, and I'm like, ugh, ugh. I was trying to, like, bat it away. Like, it was some sort of, like, fly that's, like, buzzing, like, mean, anxious thoughts into my ears. So I'm like, screw this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for a walk. So just like this in the beautiful background, I was like, okay, Caliph, like, we have to separate ourselves from whatever's going on in our heads from our environment. We're gonna go on a walk. We're gonna listen to some sad anime music, specifically Xenoblade Chronicles 2 music. <laughs> and we're just gonna like journal about our thoughts and feelings. Okay, and go. So, I'm glad I did. I'm glad that I realized that my brain was just being a mean kind of individual to me, that these thoughts weren't like truth, that I should hold self-evident, that I should just calm down <laughs> and not hold myself to such like high and perfect expectations. I have had days and I have had weeks where I feel like I can do everything and it feels like everybody I know is really happy with all the decisions I make. But I know that's like not sustainable to like be as active as I wish I could be to say yes to like everything to check off literally every item on a list and more every day. It's not really sustainable. But thankfully, streaming on Twitch is sustainable thanks to people like Chaos Chaos. Hey, thanks for the bits. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think it's good to acknowledge when you're having a bad mental health moment and trying to think of whatever you need to try and get through that. Not necessarily over it, but just like, okay, what is the next step? How do I start feeling better? How do I start building a little box ladder for me to climb to get on a higher plane above how these feelings are making me feel? And something I thought about too, which was um, I have my journal and I use my journal every day and I love it. I have a list of affirmations in there. They're broken up into a couple of categories. I have like my work affirmations, the type of person I wanna be affirmations, and I have Twitch related ones. 
and I wrote those so long ago at this point. I think it was like, what, like last September I wrote those? And I have grown and changed as a person. So while I was on my walk, I thought to myself, oh shit, all of these problems I used to deal with aren't prevalent anymore. <laughs> I got new problems. I got new things that I'm anxious about and worried about. I should like just rewrite my affirmations list to deal with the current me, not trying to solve the problems of past me. So I texted myself some like different ideas of what I think my new affirmation should be for how my current anxieties in life are, not my past anxieties. I haven't sat down and written a formal list inside uh, my new bullet journal, but I will. And I think it'll be a good positive idea. Yeah, okay, so Deckies and Draco have good taste. That's what I'm seeing. <laughs> I, I was joking with Setsuna on their stream, and I told them, hey, you know what I'm going to do? Now that I'm a Twitch partner, I can make my own Twitch team. It's going to be called Oatmeal Raisin Enjoyers, and I'm only going to invite people who like oatmeal raisin cookies. <laughs> so, all right, let me catch up on chat. I just wanted to sort of talk about that for a sec. The mean fly meet the bug zapper of mental wellness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's called meditation, journaling, and yoga. The three things that I need to always feel better. Whoa, it's raining here for the first time in three weeks. Let's go. That's so good. Yeah, walks, I think, are always really good for fighting those types of thoughts. Really, any type of physical exercise. But that's something that's not really straining. And you can do other things at the same time, like listen to sad anime music or, you know, just journal. So I think it's the perfect thing to do when you're feeling down. You always like to do what you call taking a mental step back. Yeah, that's a good way to phrase it. They're not your favorite cookie. Oh, white chocolate macadamia. Both those are really good. Uh, I, if I saw either of those on the counter in the kitchen, I'd be very happy. Silver, rah, rah, hi. That art you showed me? really good i didn't ask if that's like a secret surprise but i guess i just assumed it was because of what we were talking about with it oatmeal raisin is good i've never had it with like chocolate but that would be really good too oatmeal raisin done right oh brown sugar and cinnamon while they're still soft oh this is a safer work stream draco calm down <laughs> god i love raisins Ra 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 ra. It definitely is all good. <laughs> that means so much coming from you. No, it's really cute. You did a great job. A British biscuit, chocolate hobnobs. I've never heard of this. That's new to me. So let's see what I want to talk about. Oh yeah. So I I had kind of like an abridged version of that mental health talk that I was talking about when I streamed to my Nardo channel yesterday. And somebody in chat said something that made me feel better. And I guess one of the anxieties I didn't talk in depth about that I was thinking about yesterday is after I was like, after I had a really productive morning and I was feeling really cool, I loaded up Twitch and I thought to myself, oh, who do I watch? And then I thought, oh no, who do I watch? There's so many people. How many friends of mine have I not checked up with in like months? Oh, are they gonna be mad that I haven't watched them in a long time? If I click this friend's channel, are they gonna be like, whoa, bro, it's been eight months. Nice to see you, buddy. <laughs> and I don't know why that sort of anxiety hit me yesterday because it hasn't in the past. I'm usually just excited to like see a friend I haven't talked to in a while, but yesterday was like weirdly specific about me feeling kind of out of the mental loop there. And I'm like, Wah. and I don't know why I felt like that. But uh, when I talked about that anxiety over like on Nardo stream, PJ Extreme Pajamas was like, you know what I think when Kellef stops by? Oh my God, Kellef, hi. <laughs> and it's like the two cakes type of meme where it's like, if I show up, it's always just, oh my God, nice to see you. So. I shouldn't feel worried about like a gap of quote unquote attendance. If I stop by a stream and they're like, mm, it's been eight months, buddy. I don't want to be friends with that person anyway. So yeah, it should just always be positive. 
AC villagers that count the 986 days since you last saw them. <laughs> I've never played Animal Crossing, but that does seem like a stressful environment to game in. Same brain cell. <laughs> oh yeah, I love Sushi's brain emote, it's so good. True, streams don't have login streak bonuses. Whatever happened to watch streaks? Those are just gone now as far as I can tell. You have the opposite, the anxiety that friends never come to your streams. I don't know if I keep a mental list of like who stops by. I guess I do have that feeling of like somebody stops by and I'm like, oh my God, it's great to see you. And I, I try not to say out loud, wow, it has been a while, even if I can understand that it has been. Oh, you got a new PB today? You lost your mind? Nice. You're doing uh, the Wizard 101 speedrun stuff, right? I was a Kellef arriver once, around 30 minutes ago. Has it been, oh, it has been 30 minutes. <laughs> Thank goodness the watch streak thing died. It really gave you anxiety. I've only seen it go up to three. I've never seen it go higher than that, but I guess they decided it was just an anxiety builder and just murdered it. God, Spoat has such good emos. They're adorable. Positive, yeah. It's a crumbly oatmeal cookie. Oh, with one side dipped in chocolate. That sounds wonderful. Oh, Otto, thank you for sharing these things. You're really working to battle your demons right now. Oh, journaling has helped. Do you have to get back into yoga? I feel like if I don't do that trifecta in the morning of like journaling, then meditation or yoga, like I can, I can flip either of those I can do like journaling meditation yoga or journaling yoga meditation and I feel like on top of the world after that 90 plus percent of the time you've never heard a watch drink uh it might have been like an a b testing thing where only some streamers got them and not every streamer I think it was you'd excited when people show up in chat or VR chat You've been really excitable for social interaction lately? Oh, that's wonderful. I love that. I feel the same way, like, as barring anxious moments like that, I feel like in general, I'm a very excitable person, and I'm like, oh my god, it's you! Oh my god, I'm so happy you're here, whoa! Bubba da bubba, safe thunder cobra, hi! Oh my god, it's you! Hi! <laughs> so, how are you- how do you feel about people who like oatmeal raisin? but who would rather have chocolate chip, you're still welcome into my heart, it's fine. As long as you appreciate the design and the existence of an oatmeal raisin cookie, you're good in my book. <laughs> oh, so we're just talking about mental health stuff. I hit a cool milestone today. Look at this, I know I've been watching my number build every single day. And I hit it today. Look at this. This is from my meditation app that I use every day. Minutes meditated. Over 30,000 minutes. <laughs> I I was wondering if past me ever posted like a 20,000 minutes. I couldn't find one. I, uh, I saw myself post like a 1,400 streak uh, post on Twitter. And that was like last September. I don't know what like uh, number of meditations I'm at now. But this is like 500 hours of just spending time with myself and checking in with me and because i've been using the same app for that long uh you know the one headspace app i can just keep track of it like this and it's really cool so even though i'm not going to print this out and put it on the fridge although i guess i could um it's just a nice reminder that i have invested in myself as much as i have 300 30,000 minutes, 500 hours? That's absolutely nothing to sneeze at. That's more than I put into the vast majority of video games. This is essentially all the time that I've spent in VR chat, but taking time for me instead. So I'm very happy. I'm very proud of that, that we're at that number. Where's the cassettes we can use to record Kellef? <laughs> I mean, I can just send you a voice message if you want. That's a recording I can do. <laughs> Kellef has two PhDs in meditation. Does it take like 250 hours to get a PhD? Number go up, yeah! Oh, Safe Thunder Cobra, you also have the versus badge. It's so cool. Also, I haven't asked you just because I usually just read out long names just the way that they are. Would you prefer if I call you like Thunder or Cobra or anything? 
Oh, you do have something to share with you if I remember it about thoughts and writing stuff down. Like what you told me? Not my thoughts, but notes. Yeah, I'd be happy to chat. If I record Kellef to my <laughs> cassettes, can I TF into him? I mean, given the rules of the world that cassette beat has put into order i think the answer has to be yes i think you can just tf into Kellef. <laughs> but yeah i am i'm very happy that even though i did have an anxious day yesterday i still turned it around and i still had a great night i streamed over on nardo for like four to five hours and it was a great time I didn't feel bad at all during that stream. It felt very fun. Well, uh, asterisk. I fought a couple boss fights that sort of like pushed me into the ground. <laughs> and the combat in Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is very intricate and it keeps your mind very active about what routes you're supposed to be doing and what you're supposed to do in response to certain situations. But who we? I was in a mean part of the game. I was like 10 plus levels over leveled into a zone. And I fought a boss fight and I died. And I'm like, okay, we're gonna change up the strategy. And we changed up the strategy, I did it, and I almost lost at the very end. And I was asking the Twitch chat, oh, hey, like, I'm over leveled. These are the decisions I'm making. This is my thought process. Like, am I doing something wrong? Am I just like playing this game poorly? And two different people in chat who had beaten the game, they said, no, this place is just hard. It's just mean. <laughs> so that was part of the experience yesterday of just getting, having to get through particularly difficult parts of it. PMA, positive mental attitude. <laughs> Let's see, I talked about that. I talked about that. Oh, but like the plot that's happening in Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is so interesting. It's super good. Oh, that's really what keeps me coming back to playing more is just I gotta know what happens. I'm in chapter 8 and I'll soon get to chapter 9 and then 10. And then the base game is over and then I play Torna. So it's going to be pretty cool. Urgh, I really want to know everything that happens. Every RPG has the one section that's hard. <laughs> you feel like it's an intended part of the experience. Yeah. So like leading up to the boss that I struggled with and I talked to Twitch chat about, there were these enemies who can just, you're fighting on these really tiny platforms and they just have a blowback attack and they'll just knock your party members over or yourself and you'll just die like a one hit kill because of the, the blast radius. You know exactly what I'm referring to. Definitely a spike in difficulty. <laughs> yeah, apparently I just got to grind more now to be prepared. You really do love the Xenoblade Chronicles stories. Ooh, it's so good. It's so good. I mean, one amazing story. I have nothing positive things to say about one. I feel like the one DLC, The Future Connected, I feel like that was weaker than Xenoblade Chronicles 1 or 2. But I'm very interested in the premise of the Torna DLC. And we'll see how that is once I get to it. Stuff you don't have to deal with in turn-based games, yeah. <laughs> I mean, cassette beats, I don't gotta worry about that. I can still die to my stupid decisions in cassette beats. It has happened before, and I'm sure it will happen again. But, yeah. At least I don't get blown off a fucking edge. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, Mage Kai. I just finished the chapter seven last stream. Oh uh, yeah, all that stuff that happened with Nia, smile. It was really good. Ever played Koromon? No, that's not familiar. I'm gonna look it up. Koromon. Oh, it's another like a uh, like Pokemon sort of style video game. I've actually never seen this. It's really adorable. Oh, they have a lot of cute critters. That's a fun art style. I mean, as somebody who has uh, never beaten a Pokemon game, <laughs> I honestly did not think a Pokemon-like genre would be for me, but I really like the devs who made this game, who made Cassette Beast, so I just feel like I would give it a shot, and now I have. Oh, what's the tea today? It is Throat Code! So, for, for some reason, I feel like my voice has felt a little bit strained uh, here or there in the past few weeks, so... I'm trying to take care of it. I've been doing like vocal warm-ups every day before stream. I'm just humming around the house. I'm just singing a little bit. I do that like an hour before stream. And, uh, you know, I think it's helping. I think it's good. 
uh, I also try and not talk all the time. <laughs> I, I'm very much a person who just talks to themselves in general. This isn't just a stream persona kangaroo thing. This is just a Calif real life ass thing that I just want to keep talking all the time. So keeping in mind with my goal to be more selfish with myself in general, part of that is actual silence and shutting the heck up. Calif real. <laughs> Following the dev is an excellent way to go about it. Yeah, because like there's this like lineage of trust and you try and have these connection points between the different games. We were talking earlier about how uh, the creators of Wander Song and Chicory just put a new game up on Kickstarter with the trailer and I'm probably going to back it because I really loved both those games and honestly in my mind the devs can do no wrong and I'll play whatever the fuck they release. I will. I'm going to send my Tino. Your voice is reinforced. You just talk to yourself 24-7. Yeah, I gotta start talking to my sleep. You're so right. <laughs> the, Z uh, the Xenoblade DLC slaps real good. Torn is super great. Yeah, I want to experience it. I'm excited. Glora Fox, Fox McCloud, Breeze. Hi, how y'all doing? Hi, hi, Caliph. How you doing today? I'm doing really good. Uh, oh, so every single day when I journal, I have like a list of things that I'm like, hey, Caliph, if you feel like a down moment, either mentally or physically or just a time slot, here's something you can do to make sure that you'll feel better. And things on that list are like journaling, meditation, yoga, but things on that list are also like, hey, doing wrist stretches or going outside or doing art or something that almost always makes me feel like a cooler, better, smarter kangaroo. And today, I not only did every single thing on my checklist just for things that I wanted to get done around the house or for creative stuff or for hobbies, I also did every single one of those, so. Yeah, I feel very powerful in this moment that I have hit every possible check mark that I put out for myself today. Yeah! Okay, I feel really cool. Taking a dinner break from Cassette Beast. It sounds like you've been driving. You've been grinding this game. Heck yeah. Sorry you seem not interesting at the hangout. You were just at a low point. You still think I'm a lovable, very expressive being? No part of me thought that you weren't interesting during the hangout breeze. I just assumed it was late and you were tired and you were trying not to be too loud in your living domicile. No part of me thought, wow, breeze is so off today. No part of me thought that. Holy shit, you're level 77? <laughs> I'm 39, Lamau. You've wanted to get into drawing again due to all your art friends doing art. Gotta get a new tablet first. I really like my Huon tablet. That's H-U-I-O-N. Uh, much cheaper than Wacom, and it's been treating me very well. Oh, you did a typo. Meant to be interested. Oh. <laughs> oh okay, this makes more sense. I understand. God, Vixie has such amazing emotes. <laughs> Let's see, what else do I want to chat about? Oh yeah, just to be explicit about it, today I was very kind to myself and I took my time with timers. I took breaks. I was selfish today. I took a little like 20 minute lay down on my bed. Ah, oh, it was cozy, it was nice. Oh yeah, so up and coming in the week. It's gonna be a slightly different week over here on the, the twitch.television slash Caliph channel. So Tuesday, I'm gonna be doing something that I have never done before. I'm gonna try streaming a fighting game just cause I want to and I think it'll be fun. I'm gonna be streaming Street Fighter VI on Tuesday. Uh, I don't even have a layout that'll really work for a fighting game. We're gonna make one tomorrow. I still haven't done that. <laughs> and uh, I have officially done something that passed me used to do all the time and I would tell stories about. I scheduled a virtual cuddle session for Wednesday, whoa. <laughs> so that's a thing that's gonna happen. I'll take photos, I'll tell stories, yeah. I, I've done like, what, five, six of those in the past? So I haven't done one in a bit. It's gonna be with a new person, gasp. And uh, I'll only share photos if they want me to, but I'll definitely talk about the experience, that'll be fun. 
And uh, so this isn't for a little bit, it's still a couple weeks out, but on 628, uh, I'm gonna be driving towards AC. You might be thinking to yourself if you're good with calendars, wow, Kelf, that's real early. Yeah, it is. So uh, my husband and I are gonna be stopping in Ohio to stay with a friend, and then we're gonna go to the con, and then after the con, we're gonna drive home. So that's kind of the plan. So I'll be gone a little bit extra time compared to most cons that I go to. Um, just, just gonna be visiting people, so yeah. That'll be, so I'll be gone the Tuesday, the Thursday, the Sunday, and then I think I'll be back by that next Tuesday. But yeah, I'll be missing an extra day of stream, quote unquote, compared to most cons that I go to. So just so people know, up and coming. Cadillac will beat chat up. Well, it's more likely that chat will beat me up because I haven't been grinding very much. <laughs> Do you ever show me your dance emote? Yeah, I like it because it has like the TF with it too, which is very fun. Even practicing with simple memes lately. Oh yeah, the Shadow Wizard money gang has been fun to replicate. Uh, speaking of fighting games and also that, uh, somebody in a Discord that I'm in, they shared a, a little fighting game controller that was the Shadow Wizard money game and like the rings on the person's hand were the buttons for the controller. It was awesome. I'll send you the notes I took before I forget in the private DM. Oh, Lucromia, hi, what's up? You'll be lurking, but hi, hi, so many foxes. Well, I don't think we can say too many foxes because I don't know if that's a thing that can happen. If I'm surrounded by 30 foxes, I think to myself, not enough. Beat up with kindness. <laughs> Want to stop with on Indianapolis on the way over? Oh, I'll think about it. <laughs> fox and Kanky pouch. Surprise defense fo pouch fox. I'm cool with that. Who wants to be my uh, my pouch fox for the rest of the stream? But yeah, I think that's uh, that's everything that I wanted to talk about. So I hope y'all have been good. I hope y'all have been taking care of yourselves too. If you have any inner demons that are trying to come out, don't worry. Uh, I'm going to find them and I'm going to destroy them. I'm going to be right back. Okay, cool. Oh, so yeah, uh, as you heard from the beat up sounds that were very real, I've conquered all of the demons that I could find. Some might be hiding under a rock. Some might be around a corner. I might have missed some, um, but you should. everybody in chat should feel just a little bit lighter. Pouch pedestrians. <laughs> Hello, thank you for sharing yourself with us in a deep and personal way that you do. I think it's like a very intentional thing that I try and do in my stream. I really never want to appear to be perfect. I never want somebody to look at me and be like, oh, that Caliph guy, he's always happy. Nothing goes wrong in his life. He's so perfect and perky. Look at those smile lines. He's never been sad in his life. No, I'd rather just be a person first. <laughs> and enough people have told me through like kudo boards and dms and just in chat live that they like that i talk about this sort of stuff and that i share my journey with my hard times of life and not only my successes because it's like oh this might help somebody else feel inspired to try and take care of themselves too so yeah i think it's positive in general what if your inner demons are handsome? So if you make out with them and court them, maybe they'll also stop beating you up. You got me, Caliph? Hey, thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll do the one-two kind of punch. I'll, I'll go psh, 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 with my big paws, and then you'll get them with a chair, just like Aerith from Final Fantasy VII R, and uh, then, then there's no way that they'll start bullying you. Love hearing Caliph keeping care of himself. Hi, Shadow Panda. I don't think you said hi. But yeah, so I'm gonna change my category. I'm just gonna start wandering around in uh, in Cassette Beast. The funny thing is like, because of the way that I've approached this game, which is kind of mostly focused on map ex exploration and not side quests, I'm sure there's a whole bunch of bullshit that is lower level than me that I've not gotten to. Like I know there's rangers I haven't found on like the right side of the map. <laughs> and I know there's critters I have not caught that are like lower level. 
So this might be more of like a, a slower, just chatting kind of vibe as opposed to a heavy story exploration or Archangel murder because there's stuff I want to do and uh, it's, it's not going to be hard content. It's going to be chill content. So I'm going to sip some water and then some tea and then we're going to play video games. Oh uh, yeah. Keep in mind they scale based on your level. Oh yeah, I remember that setting in uh like the the accessibility parts. I didn't change anything from the base. I don't know if you did Glorifox. I just kept it based to like normal, whatever the default setting was. Just chatting vibes on my Kelf stream. I know, I only went 55 minutes. Why not go a couple more hours but inside a video game? <laughs> Someone close to you always tells you to be your full, authentic self. So that's what you would like to appreciate to see in other sad parts and also true, so true. Oh, hi, Bobby Yumi! ba da ba ba Hi. Oh my god, were you doing the steppies over there? Oh, let me, let me go take a look. Oh yeah, they were definitely stepping. I can see the trail. I can see the trail. This is a forest trail, so I see all the steppies in like the mud and the the little wood and the fog over there just a bunch of paws everywhere hi woof hello <laughs> i bet you're exhausted i remember i raided into you the other day and all those songs you were doing whoa um that looked that looked quite excessive oh great i hope you're having fun i hope you're incredibly sweaty and very tired and i hope that your funny numbers for whatever the event is doing are really high and cool Quick, someone, give a five-minute story. <laughs> no, the raid was a perfect distraction. Wagugus, hi. You're getting bodied trying to get the last bit of points. So it's competitive, right? It's not just like a like a grind, like you're trying to fight these other people for points. Oh, Southpaw is your main go-to. I fucking love Southpaw. They're so cute. They're so adorable. Gosh. What a perfect critter. I like all the furry bathers in this game. Mm. All right. Ba, 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 ba. All right, cool. <laughs> I'm lowering myself in my chair just a hair. I think I did it too much. I'm gonna go back up. Eh. There we are. Aw, uh, yeah. So let's come up with a goal. There's definitely a bunch of quests that I have not pushed forward on. Uh, I do have my friend right here. Ba, ba. I got Felix. He's really handsome. He's very fun. Uh, I want to do his side quest. I don't know how I'm feeling about like brush room. I don't know if I'm really connecting with this particular mon. They are really cute and I am definitely going to five star them. Um, I don't know how I feel about the whole like paint swipe and if I want to focus my kit around that. That's currently what I've been trying with him. And it essentially takes two turns to get a one Gubbin 90 attack. And I feel like it might be more fun for me to just save up AP and do stronger attacks. But as they level up and get more stickers, they might have more interesting things too. So we'll see. Favorite design, hands down. Oh, it is so, so cute. Oh, Palangolin. Palangolin is also like extra adorable. They're not currently my party because Southpaw and them fit like a very similar role within the party. So I didn't want to have two of them, but... Oh, yeah, I will talk to people. Someone I know who scavenges wrecks in the cast iron shore told me he saw Captain Heather on an island way off west. Burr, burr, burr. Oh, yeah, I haven't even been over there. Damn. Oh, yeah. Wow. So far away. Oh, yeah, Captain Cody. Yeah, I still don't know what to do with Metal Woman. Uh, there's also the coin operated, which is over here. I should look into that. Havoc, hi. How's it going? Oh, yeah, I like that about this game, Glora Fox, where you're just like, oh, you have this unique thing? Mm, what if you had this completely other kid? And you can just do that. You can just trade things out. It's great. Oh, yeah, I do want to do the altars. I have some, like, different things about that. Yeah, there we go. There's an altar I think I can go to right there. Wow, I have done a lot of quests, or at least a lot of, like, parts of quests here. Whose emote is this? It looks really cute. Oh, yeah, I know them. They're a good artist. Oh, yeah, I still haven't found Captain Zed. I should look around for Captain Zed. Oh, wait. Yes, I did. He was sleeping and we found them and he told me to fight the bullet monsters, right? I'd forgotten about that. And there's also an altar over there. 
Oh, fun fact, you inspire that emote? Whoa, I didn't know that, that's cool. If you want any advice, let me know. I'll be glad to assist. <laughs> I will, thank you. Uh, are there any more rumors around here? I'm not gonna look too hard for them. Uh, my map says exclamation point upper right. What are we currently tracking? Oh yeah, the altar. Honestly, I could go to the altar. Uh, Felix is very cute. Let's just go over there and do that, sure. Why not? Oh yeah, the giant bird goes to different like stations like every day, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. You were like, what if there was like an ayaya, -ay -ay, but instead it was awawa. <laughs> and a few days later, he drawn it and added it. That's so good. Hey, it's Frilly Pad. We've actually not caught Frilly Pad. Oh yeah, we got the camouflage. So we'll get the we'll get the first turn coding attack, which will be very good. Even wondering about picking this up on Switch, the only hesitation I would have for you is that a couple people on my last stream, they said they had like performance issues on Switch specifically. I don't know if that's something that is going to be patched or that's been addressed, but at least two people in my Twitch chat have talked about that particular problem. Uh, I should probably just kill the Hopskin and then focus on the Frilly Pad. Um, I think with Double Smack and then my 90 power attack with the Pain Swipe, Maybe we'll get a kill on Hopskin. Oh, we will. Cool. But you also have double smack. Oh, of course you're a water type. I was just so focused on catching. I didn't think about typing. All right, see, so you're dead. I love that for me. So, hmm. Can I get away with a double smack as long as I'm using a better quality tape? I think I probably could. And I'm like 10 levels over, so I think this will work. So do I have like a water tape? Oh, I have like three, whoa! And I have, I also have Vincent 573, hi! Caliph Pumpy Caliph, hi Caliph Smart. <laughs> Is that the order of your favorite emotes? I remember you telling me specifically, Vincent, you're like, I love. Hell of smug. Also, <laughs> hi! Thank you so much for the nearly two years. Whoa, whoa, crazy 23 months from the Vincent. Hi, how's it going? Oh, Glorifox can also agree on that issue. Given that it's indie. Yeah, I know a lot of people enjoy using their Switch as kind of like an indie supportive device, and I do that for me too. You can't stop using Hell of Smug on Telegram. <laughs> Good, I'm glad. How have you been, friend? Also, Akira, hi. You just woke up. Oh, so that's why you're so cozy. Oh, so, th no, there was a story as a part of your sub message. Caliph Comfy just woke up. You see my live notification. Caliph, hi? Oh, Caliph Smug. <laughs> Always Caliph Smug. Every sentence can just end in that. Yeah, hi, I have three of these, and they have a really good, like, completion chance, so I'm just gonna go for it. That plus a double smack? I think it'll just do it. 35, double smack. 100%, don't hurt me. Okay, yeah, guaranteed 100% right there. Nice. Rad. Rad. Oh my god, Felix is such a hot voice. Frilly pad. So a pad pulls mature state. So the frilly pad limbs allow it to hunt for food. They can often be found hiding by the edges of ponds and lakes. If someone or something passes by the frilly pad deems edible, it'll attempt to ensnare with its long tongue. You also love Califying Cal of Jam. Oh, you brought quesadillas? Let's go. Tifa, I'm pretty sure you were playing uh, Diablo 4, right? I think I saw that on my, my Twitch side panel. Were you having fun? Oh, you're a big Kellef 3 and Kellef Puff enjoyer? I like Kellef 3, I think. Well, and Kellef Puff is a classic at this point. Oh yeah, Nardod Nerd. You weren't, it was Dead Island 2. My brain must have auto-completed. I'm glad Dead Island 2 was fun though. Long tongue. Yeah, we're just talking about Kellef Schmug. And they're just talking about long tongues? Hmm. So odd thing, you have the older model and doesn't crash as often, but the OLED version crashes often. Oh no. It was fun, but not $60 fun. You say worth around like 25 or 30. So definitely like a sale game. Um, I'm gonna try and gamble that I'm gonna go before you and just uh, just murder you. 
I just hope it works out. Actually, I don't have <laughs> I don't have a move here that's good that's not related to coding or paint swipe. I definitely got to redo this guy's kit. I'll get the smack in. Oh no! <laughs> okay, I deserve this. I deserve this. We can just sit at the campfire. It's not a big deal. Kellef Puff and Kellef Teehee for life. Kellef Teehee is 100% a banger and I love it. Oh, a guaranteed poison for one AP. That's really good. All right, hi. I'm going to go uh, immediately back over here. It was important to me to catch the creature and just finish up the fight. So I have like essentially an infinite amount of wood. So I am not worried at all <laughs> about uh, going through that as a resource. So we can just uh, res right here. There we go, it's to the left. Camp here? Yeah. It's tolerable for you. You can stay content. Well, hopefully they work on a patch. <gasps> Hi, Felix. Hey, have you ever eaten butter tarts? Oh my God, does Hurry have some butter tarts? Rawr. Rawr. <laughs> Hurry coming in. Tie-in, the 23 months from Vincent. Whoa, hi. It's crazy to think that I've known both of you for like nearly two years, maybe more. Crazy, wild. Aw, oh, yeah, Muse Wolf, Rick, their emotes are so good. You always like node emotes? I'm also a big fan. I love a F-Pop's node emote. I love a Fox's node emote. Oh, time to make butter tarts for Kellef. Well, and the thing is, what I've heard about butter tarts, hurry, is that they don't survive being shipped very well. They're not very fresh. I guess you'll just have to hand deliver them. Oh, no. The game was made in Godot. Godot and Unity are tough to optimize for Switch. It takes a bit to weed out bugs for an Android-based OS. Oh, I hadn't heard that. Oh, gonna head to bed. Hope the rest of my stream goes lovely. Hope the rest of your day. Also, thank you for being you. Yeah, always nice to see you, Breeze. Uh, hope you have great sleep, great dreams. <gasps> oh my god, is Felix a raisin enjoyer? We were just talking earlier about how important raisins are and how great they are. They might be hard to come by, but if you ask me, that's for the best. Oh, Felix is a hater? Oh no. Your broken taste have been repaired. That's what I cared about. <laughs> I will sip tea, thank you. Yeah, I have over 2,000 wood. Cancel this raisin hater immediately. Can't believe him. We should start doing a different quest immediately. Oh, I just walked up here because I wanted to do the quest and I completely forgot that his kit kind of sucks right now and it's my fault. <laughs> That's okay, we can always switch out to somebody who's better. But the powers of sun and moon conveniently shining at the same time? Guardian. Reveal yourself, Guardian! <laughs> hmm. She's really getting into the role here. She's really cute, I like her. <laughs> Domisec! Okay, so that's Dominoth and then some type of insect creature. So I think I'll do the camouflage paint apply move and then I'll switch them out. Um, I'm just gonna sharpen so we can multi-spec next turn. And I'll do the paint swipe. And this will also make them beast type, which should be easier to interact with. Sonic boom. Okay. Is this the second altar? It is, yes. It's my second altercation. Yeah. You like them, most you know don't. Yeah, most people I know are just raisin haters, honestly. Alright. Oh yeah, we got the air wall. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> So I'm gonna multi-smack, it should be pretty good, should be pretty strong. And I think I'll switch you out. What should I do here? Who should I bring in? I mean, Pyromelion is really good at individual damage. We're gonna want AOE once they split apart, and that's why I crafted Mothmatic the way that I did. So I'm gonna start bringing you out. Would be hinting if a quest has a good reward be considered spoilers for me? Hmm. Well, I'm planning on kind of doing all of them. So if you think I should do one before the other, I don't mind hearing that type of thing. Raisins and things are good. You don't like them by yourself. If there's just a bowl of raisins, I could destroy them. Mm. 
I think while I have, oh no, it's a two turn buff. So if I just smack this turn, I would still have AP for multi-spec next turn. And I would also have the buff. Uh, what should I do with you, friend? I kind of want to get this creature out of the way, the Dama sect, before I start using large AP abilities. So what can I do that's kind of just like a, a stabilizer? I think I'll just do Zephyr. It'll cost two, and I'll still be able to do the old one, too, when they split apart, which is really all I care about. Oh, this is perfect. They took Kaneku out, so my main critters are totally fine. Okay, nice. We'll definitely get the kill here with Multi-Smack. And then you should be slower, so I'm going to plan that Multi-Smack will kill Domasek, and then they'll split apart, and then the old one, too, is going to hit. Okay, so kill. Perfect, and then we'll get the double hit on the split. Whoa, Toku Sect, they look awesome. Oh, we got them in one. Don't kill the Toku Sect though. Okay, cool. <laughs> So Tokusek's alive, and we can record them because this is not a trainer battle, and they look really cool. Uh, oh, and I have three. Perfect. So you can do multi-smack. This will be enough to kill for sure. And then we can record on you. Do I have an air tape? I only have one, so I think I'm just going to ceramic, or sorry, chrome. I'm going to chrome tape. And hopefully it'll work out. Recording. Felix's quest is a good reward. Oh, I was 100% I was planning on doing his, so... Definitely no spoilers there. Let's go. 92% chance? Ay, okay. Rad. Rad. Toku Sec. Toku Sex have an extremely aerodynamic bodies, aiding a fighting style that's focused around using their pointed legs to strike opponents and channel powerful currents of air. So, Cassette Beast fighting game win, and this person is on the team? That's what I would want. Plus two. <laughs> You're a raisin hater. That's okay. We can't all be perfect. In case you didn't notice in the past streams, Fusing in Battle added his lyrics to the music. Yeah, I did. It's so cool. Uh, What do you have? Wallop. Okay, it's just 2 AP, melee 16. You got dodge. Okay. Conductive and then kill. Yeah. All right, that went really good. Oh, Shooting Star. Uh, doesn't he already have a 60 power two pack? I don't know if he does. Creator. <laughs> to battle alongside you, Creator? I don't feel worthy. Oh. Honestly, it's really no big deal. We should try and find the next shrine. I know where uh, one of these is, and that's probably where I'm gonna go to right now. Uh, I'll probably go back to, yeah, just right here, heal up because the next teleport I don't think is right next to one. And I essentially have infinite woods. I don't really care. Felix means about food. He's unable to require a new world. Love it when games randomly throw in vocals to make scenes more intense. Yeah, Eichenfell was a really good example of that. That was also a fun queer game. All right, so we're gonna teleport over here. Yeah, the altar is one south of the teleport. And then I don't know where the, the the last altar is, but I can just go to town and look for rumors. Oh, they're an Angie lad. Oh yeah, the, I. Oh hi. Wah wah wah. Ooh, what if we drive impacted on the only solid ground in Street Fighter? <laughs> Umbra, I don't know if you've been around while I've talked about it. But um, Tuesday, I'm actually going to stream Street Fighter VI, which I've never done before. I've never streamed a fighting game. I'm going to try it out. But yeah, I don't know. Ooh, woo, do, if I see you coming at me flashing red with the smoke and maybe the, the little graffiti effects around you, do I think, should I react or I just want to let them smash me into the ground? I just don't know. But hi, Umber. Thank you so much for 14 months. Whoa, wow. Wow. <laughs> Definitely excited for that stream. I think it'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Ooh. 
you followed the devs of Iconfell on Twitter for so long during their dev cycle. I don't remember how I heard about it, but I really enjoyed following the devs uh, since I played it. It's really cool. God, that was a great game. I, I know some people don't like how like slow the combat is, but like the characters are so cool. The story is really wonderful. The music is such a banger. I liked it a lot. You've never played the furry fighting game, Primal Furry. Um, what is that one fighting game where you can just TF into the critters when you have enough of a bar? Bloody Roar! There we go. Yeah, I want to play Bloody Roar, and I want a sequel to Bloody Roar right now. <laughs> hi, Pierre. Hi. You think I'm going to probably be playing this game yourself at some point? Going to lurk? Have fun? I will, Silver. Your favorite. <laughs> Oh, you did mean Bloody Roar. Oh, okay, okay. I actually, I saw somebody like talking about that in a YouTube video. It reminded me how cool it was. Oh, Rapid Fire Uncommon. So it hits multiple times. Splash damage per empty slot. Interesting. Oh yeah. I should probably be theory crafting about what to do with Brushroom's kit, which I have treated poorly. So I'm probably just gonna remove some stuff. I like Camouflage. Camouflage is really awesome. Splinter, I think, is good. Elemental wall? I don't know. Maybe if I have a wall with delta, it'd feel more cozy. But just a wall on its own? I don't know. Exclamation mark pouch. Exclamation mark pouch. <laughs> Hi! I actually didn't know it wouldn't work on a resub message. I never tried that. You're the half cat. Han. Yeah. North American got up to Bloody Roar 4, you think, but don't quote you. You made Normie Bros raid so hard <laughs> by being good at the Neko half car character. That's so funny. Oh, pouch for Delta. Perfect. Wow, a whole three course meal? Oh, I was saving that for later, but I think Delta deserves it. Thank you so much for nine months, by the way. A weekend without a Kelif Rar is a weekend I don't want to be a part of. Yeah. You know, I if I don't go live like at least three times a week, what am I doing with my life? What am I doing with my life? I love being a kangaroo online. Worth trying for the bit? No, I appreciate the bit. <laughs> oh, did someone ask for a Kelif Rar? Hi, Dedenka. Oh, I just wetted my lips and my throat for this Rar. So let's get a let's get nice and close. Well, hi, Dedenka. Thanks for being like an infinite source of knowledge about this game. Always excited to stop by. Rawr. <laughs> Hi, I hope you've been doing good. Thank goodness you said lips. What, what else could I have said? Not making any money, kind of smug. Who am I liking in SF so you can pick my worst matchup? <laughs> uh, DJ is my favorite character right now. Um, I've done the Kami, I've done the Manon, but DJ I've put the most time into. Uh, I haven't really had time to grind either in training mode or in sets or in ranked. So adding it to my stream rotation for this week is part of a reason where I'm like, okay, I can get like three hours of playing the game in and also quote unquote do content <laughs> and be a kangaroo online. So I think it'll be a good time. What? Oh yeah, so what are we going to do with the sled? I don't think I want any more codings than just the one. Once we find out the evolution and see how it is, we can rethink this. So yeah, I'm going to take off the codings. Camouflage, great. Love that. I'm going to remove you. What else can we throw on here? Elemental wall is, I think, fine. Uh, I think it would make sense if I was just going to coat up, uh, or sorry, I would just wall up and then apply a coating, but I don't know. I also get rid of that. What can you put on, bud? Let's think. AP drain, call for help, chemical imbalance. Chance to automatically use the next move in the list for zero AP. Hmm. So, this is actually kind of perfect for a coding. So we could try that. So if we had a chemical imbalance along with a coding, they could just do that. When the user lands a type advantage hit though, so we would have to specifically do something with the plant. Uh, let me load up my thing. I didn't load up my uh, my little type chart in the side monitor. I bet into your favorite status effect. 
DJ's pretty nice. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, Drive Rush plus, like, Crouchy Medium Punch. Oh, uh, you have a lot of range on that. It's kind of awesome. Oh, and, like, Standing Medium Kick. Ooh, really good. Oh, Standing Heavy Punch. It's nice. Even if it whiffs on Crouching Opponent, it's still pretty great. So, if Plant is an attacker... I'm updating my little uh, filter list over here. So, Plant as attacker... Anybody as a defender. So if I find Earth, Lightning, Water, or Astral, which is a lot of different possibilities, then uh, then I could get that to possibly trigger. So that is pretty good. I do like that idea. Hmm. So we could throw two more things on here. What else can we do? Let me reorganize here. Shuffle, shuffle. Uh, Desperation. Stickers like that are good when paired with high AP moves. Oh, and they also stack. Interesting. Uh, double slice is always nice. I need I need something that's more than two gosh darn AP on this critter. Oh, races all these are stat ties by a lot, and then after three turns the tape breaks. That is a fun idea. It's very scary. Removing status effects, Pustule Bomb, having an AoE can be good. Uh, do, I don't know if they have a 60, a 60 damage move on a 2 AP. There are some silly combos you can do with stacked attacks. <laughs> I bet some, you know, gameplay geniuses have done some really cool stuff. Oh, you can put Toxic Stab on? Toxic Stab is really good. Oh, that's a 380 power move. Given that you only have five gubbins, a 3 AP attack I think is really good for you. And then I can put one more thing on for now, and then I probably won't change your kit until you get to the remaster stage. Any combo with Kellef is silly. This is true, this is confirmed. Wah, 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 high praline. <laughs> I just wetted my lips. It's true, I did. See, this is why I have to get more into fighting games so I can literally do silly combos. <laughs> mm, what else can we do? So we have a 3 AP move. We have a 2 AP move. I don't know if there's anything else really I'm super interested in right now. I could just throw Push Roll Bomb in there just to have. Uh, well, we could do type coverage with this. So, if somebody is weak to a poison move, we could use that instead of this. So, that's another idea. So, Earth, Lightning, Water, Astral is plants. So, what is poison all good against? Oh, <laughs> I see what I did. This music is so gentle and nice. I kind of like it. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -ba -bum. Okay, uh, I think I'm fine with that for now, um, but I'm definitely gonna change things around once we do the remaster. All right, but we have to have all the passes at the top or I go crazy. And then we have to have no AP moves, and then we have to have one, and then two. All right, one, two, three, and then five. Perfect. You get good at fighting games because you're a degenerate. <laughs> oh, so did you pick up Cami? That's what you're mentioning. So, oh, I was gonna say the altar has to be around here somewhere. Hmm, it's right here. Easy. Wait. Wait. Kuneko. By the power of fire and ice, making my passion for justice hot and cold at the same time. Hey. Unveil yourself, guardian. <laughs> She's so silly. Let's move. <laughs> Mutant Bulletino. That's adorable. So you're the you're the bullet bill type of friend, and then you're mixed with something else. But you're a mutant. Um, yeah, I think I'll just do the same kind of strategy that I did before. Paint swipe, perfect. Multi shot. Whoa, you're so fast. You're gonna melt me. I was hoping to change their type before they went, but I was not fast enough. 
try and have at least one monster with the phase shift sticker. I don't know if I've seen that one yet. I'll have to look into my, uh, my master list of items. So I can multi smack here. Uh, oh, perfect. We can woodcutter. All right, so you won't have a type advantage at the very least now, but that's still not a lot of damage. Never mind, you still burn. <laughs> Whoa, I broke them apart already. I didn't expect to go that quick. Oh, what are, are you? Oh. Oh, no, you just have the coating on you. <laughs> oh, you put their melee attack down? I don't know if that's super helpful. Oh, the splinter got the kill. Oh, I love that. Uh, I'm just gonna try and bully them because they're flinching. And we'll see if I can get this in a single round. Oh, I did the wrong one. That's okay. Never mind, it's fine. Okay. I was nervous somebody would die from the self-destruct. Oh, we got four star, awesome. Snooze Spore. Okay, 50% accuracy, give the target sleep status for three turns. You help me again, creator. I don't want you to hurt yourself, yeah. You know, you don't have to do this to impress me. Dot to dot? I know what you really think of me, creator? Does this... No. I know you're embarrassed that you made me. Duh. No, she's not wrong. Uh. I can tell by the way that you look at me. My quest is not to impress you. I know there's nothing I could ever do to make you proud of me. Oh. Oh. Okay, now I feel pretty bad. Maybe I phrased that badly. I know you didn't mean it. I should find her and apologize. She'll be at the final shrine, right? She will. We actually don't know where that is. Uh, so I'm gonna go back to town and look for rumors so we can do that. Have I done that vampire den on the right? I feel like I have, but I also didn't get this chest, so I feel like I have it. Let's try and go in. All right, because I don't know if I have, and these are really cheap, I'm going to heal with my rewinds really quick, and then I'll hop on in. Uh, and I can look for that one sticker that you were talking about, Glora Fox. So, element OP. I don't have it in my master list, but that doesn't mean one of my critters doesn't own it already. A key? Oh, so I have been in here, okay. Hi, Red, hi, how's it going? All right, see, I wasn't super sure, so I'm gonna go back to town, try and find somebody with a rumor who tells me where the last altar is, because I knew where one of them was, just myself. Um, I was pretty sure where a second one was, and the game told me, and the third one I didn't know, the game just happened to tell me. New monster stickers, hmm. So with rumors, they'll just like randomly pop up as you walk around town, right? If you don't have it, no big deal. It would just super help in certain situations. And apparently I've done fights where it would have been a lot easier. <laughs> You're okay, you guess? How am I doing? I'm doing good. I had My yesterday was my I'm okay kind of day. So I know that, I know that type of feeling. Uh, I was hoping just to kind of like force spawn a rumor. I don't know if I can try and do that. If I rest, will that kind of like force spawn one? I can just do it. But yeah, my current day has been going really good. I uh, got a lot done today. It was very organized. I helped a friend on a call with like VTuber stuff. So that was cool. That was nice. <laughs> Felix quietly and intently sketches as the time passes. You're so cute. There's more to it. You don't want to dump. Glad I'm doing well today. Oh! I hope uh, I hope things improve for you, friend. Your favorite radio show is the Symbol FM, hoping by Captain Sybil herself out in the marshes. Yeah, this is a pretty high-level area for us. I think it's like mid-40s. So sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, just resting. So we got one there, so that was the sometimes it does. 
Are there people over here who would have rumors too? I think it's just the right side of town. I never appreciated how messed up this lantern is. Did somebody hit it? <laughs> I do like doing that. God, I love dashing. Dashing's so fun. Uh, I guess I can try and uh, just recycle it. Yeah, no, you're right. I should probably look at the silly merchants. Change the record uncommon. Forces the target to randomly switch to another one of their tapes? That's an interesting idea. Uh, we already have a surefire. Recycle. Destroys the user's wall. Gives them an amount of AP equal to its remaining duration. That's interesting. And if I get a wall on myself because of some type of type effect, I could also just give myself AP with that. It's really cheap, so I'll buy that just as a... I don't know, just a curiosity. Hmm. I have enough gubbins that I'll just buy that because it sounds interesting as well. Huh. Alright, what do we got over here? I already have magnet. All these sound familiar to me. Hmm. Uh spray? Oh, it's a one uh gubbin attack that hits a whole team. That's okay. Oh, I love boil. Boil's really good. All right, so we're just trying to force spawn this rumor, and I guess I'll check uh, the shops every day, too. And if it takes too long, we can, oh, do something else, but oh, they bark in high Barkley Arf. You like belly rubs, don't you? Okay, we're screenshotting that. Meredith, you're just so screenshotable. Thanks for that. I'm gonna send that to my friends after the stream. <laughs> I'm gonna send it to friends who I know are like very bottom leaning, and I'm just gonna say, you like belly rubs, don't you? <laughs> you basically buy at least one each for completion in case you need it someday. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the same way. Take a quick break, yeah. I'll never get tired of this song. I still need to sort this soundtrack that I got from this game, but I kind of want to wait until they beat it. Oh, another rumor for me. Please be Alter. I found a neat thing during my swim in the lake. Some kind of altar between two pillars on an island. Well, over here, interesting. All right, so this was the information we were looking for. Thank you so much, Rando. I'll also check the shops while I'm here. And then uh, we're gonna go to the altar. Hey. Designing new support stickers. Trip, uh, beast coating, stony look. Oh, it actually gives petrified. I don't think I have one that does that. Dog ears. We have dog ears. We have new leaf. Huh. Echo location. Use automatic. I'm pretty sure we have that. I'm pretty sure. I can check. Uh, plant camouflage AP. Re uh, we already have fireproof. Really good. Automatically in fix three random debuffs on the last opponent to hit the user upon defeat. I'm pretty sure we have that too. Wait, I'm bad with names. Let me start the name again. So echolocation. That one actually is interesting. Let me make sure we have that. Uh, well, it's not here. It might be on a creature. Let me make sure I'm sorted. I am sorted. Okay, I think I'll buy it. Well, it's kind of expensive. Let's look at the other options before I do. Uh... Radiation breath. Whoa, it hits two to six times. That's a lot. That's a lot for four gubbins. It could go up to 120 power. That's really good. Yeah, I'll buy that. And we can still afford the other one. And then we're gonna go to the altar. <laughs> uh, echo location. All right, nice. So let's jump. Oh, it's not actually my quest. I mean, I know where it is, but it's like having an active. There we are. Track. We go to the map. We're going to go over here. Oh, I didn't know these guys could spawn in here, too. That's fun. I'm on a mission, though. I know what I want. I'm going for it. They're almost face first in the puddle, and that would have been like extra defeating for them. Amanda, hi, how's it going? Oh yeah, there it is. 
I actually, I was actually trying to see if I had done this over here in the lower left. Hey, uh, Kaneko. Yeah. The deck of cards is shuffled. I've drawn my final hand straight flush. It's Pride Month. You can't say that. Guardian. <laughs> you been doing pretty good. Oh, I'm glad. Let's help, and then I can apologize. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. Scoobleville. Ooh, Kellef is, I should have known this has been a water type. Kellef's not gonna do great here. Um, I don't think they'll die before I do my two turn, my one setup and then multi smack, and then I'll switch off of them. Uh, but we are gonna paint swipe. <laughs> Wink. Well, a little bit weaker at least, unless they do, yeah, it's a ranged attack. So this is a shit ton of damage. Yeah. Yeah. The monsters in the mall had this ability. It was so annoyingly strong. Mm. I mean, I can get this off, but Kellef is going to expire after this. Is it worth doing? It's fine because we're gonna teleport back to town right after, but I don't want to be a jerk. Uh, who would be good against this scenario? actually don't think I have a great answer for this. I mean, Galagor is the big tank. I think we should focus on breaking them apart. Also, they're white now. I didn't appreciate that. <laughs> I think I'm going to focus on breaking them apart. Felix might die anyway because it does so much gosh darn damage. Mm. Is it worth trying to do some damage before Felix dies? The thing is, Pain Swipe always goes last, so I don't know what their speed is like compared to Scooble Veal. I'm gonna try and just go all in and kill and murder this one. It's probably a bad idea, but we can always switch to my other creatures. Get like, get like six hits. That was the worst number possible. Frick! Oh man, you're so tanky. All right, they're gonna do it again. Oh, different? I got really lucky there. I got really lucky. They just didn't torrent again. Wah! Okay, so we're gonna switch now. Uh, Pyramelion is really good at individual hits. I think they're a great switch. I think Galagor is also a great switch. I think Psygear, hi. Can you tell if casually causes chaos contained comically and I'm out of alliteration? High smile. High smile. <laughs> that was really good iteration. Kangi hell of casually causes chaos contained comically. That's great. Great job, friend. Also, hi. Thank you so much for a whole gosh darn year. I hope you're doing great. Nice to see you. I, I was lurking a lot during tenor stream earlier and uh, you and them and Cheesy all being adorable and having fun in the voice call. I'm glad you had a great time. Toys R Us, hi. So Southpaw can use a nifty sticker called Sturdy Armor that prevents his defenses from dropping. I wonder if I have that, that'd be great. A whole year of funny Bezos bucks, the prime gaming. Hmm, I think I'll use Prime Amelian. I think I'll switch into them. They're great single target damage. And I'm just gonna use Galagor because they're defensive and I gotta have somebody who can fucking live through this. And I might get a roll again here. Yeah, Torrent is the worst. It does so much damage. Thankfully, not much against Kellef. Oh, this is my tankier team. Let's go. All right. Um, I forgot it was called Crossfade. <laughs> God, Crossfade and Roll again. I'm still nervous that that can trigger. Um, I think I'll do the consistent Bone Cannon. They'll have one AP. The worst thing they can do is, oh, they can do a lot of stuff. I think I'm just gonna Bone Cannon. And I guess I'll shooting star? Or should I deja vu? Hmm. I'll oh, shooting star. You're hoping to find a bootleg southpaw with water typing? That'd be so cool. Oh my god, I'm so happy you hit Galagor with that. <laughs> okay, cool. We broke them apart. That was really what I needed. Oh, interesting. That's why you were so strong. It was a Diveal and a Scoobalrus, not just two Diveals. Hmm. All right, we're gonna try and just take out this Diveal really quick. And I think I'll Shield Bash as well. I just wanna guarantee at least one of these critters goes down this turn, so there's less damage. 
Okay, kind of a waste of the damage from Shield Bash, but it's still killed, so I'm happy. I've never found like a, a bootleg in the wild. I just got the one guaranteed one so far. Hmm, I don't have any good attacks I can do right now. I'm just gonna all in on Shield Bash, see how much it does. I got Healing Steam for you. Okay, <laughs> yeah, this team is much more defensive than my last team. Treat has such a cute animation. I really love it, actually. Oh, they're actually alive. <laughs> Roll again, spit, didn't kill. Uh, Yeah, I'm gonna Chrome Tape. And then you will definitely kill with Shield Bash. Oh, they're a one out of a thousand. Okay, so I feel less bad about not finding one. Although, to be fair, um, I could have seen one and not noticed. Aw. Get the Shield Bash. Do a lot of damage. God, Shield Bash is so good. 100%. Love that. Ba -ba -ba. The helmet of the Skubalrus has grown sturdy brass tusks, which allows them to fend off attackers. Having developed hind legs, I'm listening, uh, they're also much more capable and dangerous on land than they are in their immature divial state. God, I love thick hind legs. Hi, Emerald, hi. God, Torrent is so good. Now I have access to Torrent. This is actually a really good kit right here. Ice resistance? I don't know if I had an ice resistance sticker. Ice breaker? Yeah, they have a lot of awesome ones right here. You've had two? Oh, despawn because they're on a different letter? That's so sad. That's so sad. Got to head to bed, Kinky. Hope you have an amazing night. I will. I will. Thank you so much for your positivity and friendship. Ronaldo, hi. Have you escaped uh, the clutches of Tears of the Kingdom? Or are you still deep in that hole, Merle? All right, nobody died. I was actually really lucky. Oh, battery. Battery's a really good skill. It's pretty fast. Oh, we got a lot of pulp. I love that. Oh, Tear Miter, I will take that. Thank you. That was last altar. Kuneko. Uh, Kuneko, I... Uh. I'm just a forgotten thought, aren't I, creator? Well, no, that that's his AD sketchbook. That didn't get ported here. <laughs> An idea you had fun with once before being discarded? Oh no, by the shining powers of earth, wind, fire, and air. My true potential is revealed. She's going avatar state. This is actually so sick. <laughs> she united the four elements within herself. Do I still embarrass you, creator? Archangel Shining Kuneko Unbound Creation. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, my health is still low from the last match. Fuck. Can... Oh, we can't record her. Fuck. <laughs> I saw the exclamation point in the upper right, which means she's catchable. Quote, unquote. I wonder if this means she's the reward from the quest, but we'll see. Yeah, I gotta heal. I gotta heal, like, right now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're gonna rewind. Uh, definitely want to heal Southpaw. Really good member of this team. Um, you're technically more throwaway, my friend. Uh, even though I really like you, we're going to use your 90 power attack, which is really good. Um, oh. We're probably gonna fuse probably turn one. That's what happened in Meredith's, is that we fuse, like, turn one. Yeah, we can swap him. I was actually just thinking about that. With fusing specifically, whose kit do we want? Whose kit do we want? Um, I mean, I feel like this kit, uh, I can't go back and look, but I know Southpaw has a 10 AP ability. Yeah, check tape. There we go. He already has gear shear, which makes him like a perfect TF candidate. So who do we want with that? Probably Galagor. Probably Galagor, because really good health, uh, really good defense, pre some pretty good abilities. Yeah. I think this is a great combination right here. Divine. Hi. Are we shooting stars? Oh, yes. Give me that. Oh, AP boost. AP boost, too. I'm sorry. This is all my fault, Kella. 
If I want to survive so I can make things right, that's all I want. Come on. Come on. I know we can make things right together. Calif and Felix Hart act as one. <laughs> I think this is the worst slash best combination that we have had with South by yet. <laughs> they they just took the head. They just threw it on there. They gave it like like praying mantis arms and a bug butt. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do to the sexy furry beat? I improved him. He's stronger now. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. <laughs> They're the best one I've seen so far. Unfuse. I refuse to hit the unfuse. <laughs> oh, it'll also have a static effect over it on the sprite in the world. I'm guessing people have like, um like grind strategies for bootlegs, like just entering and exiting a room over and over, probably something like that. Tears of the Kingdom is strong. Oh, you play Fortnite with friends? I'm glad, I'm glad you're having fun. God, oh, I know we're jamming. We get some lyrics now. He's doing the work of the gods. He's gonna be really strong. Whoa, you put like 160 hours into Tears of the Kingdom? I've been avoiding like every piece of information about it, aside from the very sexy fan art of different characters. I have been seeing that. That's the only type of media I've consumed in the game. That in post-game tactics, interesting. Um, so what do we wanna do? We're really close to gear shear. We're gonna get four AP a turn, which means I can multi-smack and still gear shear next turn, right? It would multi uh, 90 power attack or this is a guaranteed 80 or I could get more because of the plus one extra hit or I could have the guaranteed 90. Statistically, this is a better chance for damage and then because of the plus AP, I mean, no matter what, we should get to gear shear next turn. So I'm going to do that. So, oh, it's going to berserk them too. That's so good for me. Uh, it means they can't do any like weird buffing bullshit. It will give them AP up, so maybe I shouldn't do that. Um, is it the Astral doing that? But it's the Astral doing that, which is basically going to be everything, right? I mean, this wouldn't. Bite wouldn't, and it would heal a little bit. Beca I don't want to give them AP up because they're an angel, and the gear shear is probably going to do that anyway. I can't test it, because Gear Shear is pure. I don't think it will. I think I can bite, not give it AP up, which is very scary on Archangels, and then I'm just gonna use my Gear Shear next turn. And it still heals me a little bit, it's fine. Galactic Beatdown? Oh, more Energize for me. Oh, here it is, here it is. Gear Shear. 50 power attack, hit three to five times, plus 27% crit chance. Oh yeah. It's gonna make him berserk too. Ritual? Oh fuck, you're ritualing? That was the best possible roll. It was crit and four hits. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, that was so good. You're trying so hard not to backseat. I've appreciated your hints and tips so far because it's more allowing me to think about opportunities of things to do with my teams as opposed to telling me like what to do with them. 100% scratch chance? Well, yeah, I hear. There's a rumor. If you approach Maze in VR chat or at a con, you're in scritching range. Also, hi. And also, Light, hi, how are you? Sexy fan art of certain characters. I wonder who that character is such a mystery. I literally don't know their name, but I have seen their dick. <laughs> also, PJ, hi. Oh, who's, whose channel were we in, PJ? Where they're like, oh, PB and J. Ba -da -ba. And I said you had like probably a secret middle name that starts with a B. So I think your full name actually is Extreme Paj Bartholomew Jamas. I think that's your full name. The highest damage you've dealt was 1958. That's crazy. <laughs> 
let's see. Uh, what do you want to do here? So they're gonna they're gonna have their big big power attack next turn. Hmm. So what should we do here? Wow, we already have so much. We already have so much AP thanks to that AP up. This is wild. Does this mean we get five a turn? Is it plus one? What's the specific uh? Yeah, plus one. So fusions gain four because there's two of them. So plus one is five. So if I use only a single one, I'll get back up to max and can gear shear again. So if I only use sharpen, then I can gear shear next turn, right? All right, my defense is really good. This is a wonderful combo. Oh my God, sharpen plus gear shear? Uh, I mean, I should be able to tank your Archangel move because of the two mods I'm using and I'm nearly full health, so I think this is fine to do and I want to do a lot of damage. Cosmic Kunai? Oh, oh, we're fine. It only hit once. Oh, I got the four hits and the crit again? That was so good. <laughs> Oh my god, I can just I can just do that again next turn. Alright, I'm just gonna gear shear you again. This is a great combo. Thanks for giving me AP every turn. <laughs> uh, she's really fast, but I think this combo is too much for her to deal with. Okay, we didn't get the crit, but it doesn't matter. They're dead. Archangel Shining Kuneko dies. But Ritual brought her back, smile. Resurrected. This means she cannot Ritual ever again, and she doesn't have that much health. Um, I don't see a reason to change my strategy, to be honest. I mean, I guess I can just smack. I can just smack. Because I already have the Sharpen, so I don't have to redo it. Wait, what? I want to select myself. This will give her AP up, but the fight's almost over, so I think it's fine. All I care about is just doing gear shear again, because she can't possibly get through her health bar. Go for the kill! All right, get the kill, buddy. Also, we have 16 turns of AP plus right now. <laughs> okay, good. Nice, 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 nice. Kill, kill, kill. Whoa, let's go! You don't have the B middle name? That's okay, I don't either. <laughs> Oh, you got the expert rank in Mahjong Soul. The Fuse music hit as your hand was ready. I love that for you. The Fuse music is so good. Also, Dr. Dreadmore, hi. I hope you liked your puff I gave you. 16 is the max stack limit. Whoa, I don't think I noticed before. That might have been the first time I hit it, actually. My stamina increased by 11%. Oh, yeah. Because it was an Archangel, we got Archangel rewards. That's awesome. Kuneko. Kuneko. I'm really sorry. I viewed you and all my other adolescent creations as embarrassing. But we all start somewhere. If I hadn't imagined you, hadn't drawn you, <laughs> I wouldn't be the artist I am today. I shouldn't pretend you don't exist. I should embrace you, just like you should embrace Kangi and what that means to me as an artist. What? You really mean that? <laughs> I do. Besides, you look pretty cool to me just now. Creator Tilda Tilda. <laughs> the Tilda really sells it. I'm get, I'm screenshotting that. Duh. Hey, okay, okay, calm down a bit. Sorry. Sorry for trying just to kill you right now. I mean, sorry for trying to kill you, Felix. Oh. <laughs> no worries, all is forgiven. Kaneko, there's something I need to know. Hmm. How are you real? I just don't get it. I do not know. <laughs> but if you were to ask what I believe, then I would say perhaps once you create something that no longer belongs to you, ideas change and grow of their own accord. <laughs> you are the artist creator Felix. You should know this more than I. Oh. Oh, okay. What are you gonna do now? Is your quest over? What are you gonna do now? I, I don't think I can join you both in your humble town. That is not my plan. No. I need to become my own person. I must follow my crystal heart wherever it leads me. Is your heart actually crystal or is that just a figure of speech? 
Well, if this is where... Oh, they ignored me. <laughs> if this is where our paths diverge. Thanks. I'm thankful I met you, Kaneko. Farewell. Farewell, Creator Felix. And farewell also, Creator Felix's quieter fend. Here, my power gifted to you. I hope it remain reminds you of our times battling together. Just her power? Yeah, yeah, let's go, Kuneko! The daughter of an angel and a demon, Kuneko was left on the doorsteps of a ninja clan hideout as a baby. Trained in the arts of ninjutsu and friendship, Kuneko now travels across the land in search of the four elemental shrines of power. Will she ever find her true calling? Uh, so cool! Oh, I love her. I love her. Smack and wink. Wink. Okay, that's great. Kuneko is put in storage. May her memories burn like beacons that illuminate our true paths forward! You're so good. <laughs> she really needs to work on her dramatic metaphors. This has been an interesting experience. And I'm not just talking about us combining into one big monster. That was... It was new. It was pretty cool, Felix. It made me feel a bit motion sick, if I'm honest, but maybe next time I'll be ready for it. Come on. Let's go back to my place so we can catch up. Besides, I have an inspiration for a new sketch. You're so cute. You're so adorable, Felix. <gasps> we're not... We're not at the cafe. We're at his place? Oh. I think that whole adventure really lit a fire in me. I want to draw more than ever. I want to create new characters. I want to make a real good living with my art and work on my own terms too. So I think I'm ready to go home. <laughs> That's what you're searching for, isn't it? A way back, yeah? Hmm. A way out of here. The folks in town say it's impossible. But so are your childhood characters coming to life, you know? If you think there's a way, then I trust you. You can count me in, no worries. Oh, oh and one more thing. <gasps> Here's the sketch I told you I wanted to draw. You're so cool, you're so rad. That's great. <laughs> yeah, oh, they signed it. You're so cute. I like that. Quest complete. Don't you want me? Ah. Relationship level one. A fusion is now available in regular battles and partnered Felix. They got extra strength. Do you want to head out? You said there was a rumor about something happened in the marsh, didn't you? That could be our next destination if you wanted. Awesome. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that was so good. Oh. She's IMO, one of the 10 best beasts. Her stats are at an even spread at 160 of max stars. Whoa, that's crazy. Oh, interesting. If you're lucky, you can find her out in the overworld and refight and record her. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah, she's such a cute character, Red. <laughs> Yeah, I think the, uh, does the bio normally have five pages? I don't remember. Also, where is she on this list? Would she be like at the very bottom? So it'll be a black name because we've already recorded her. There's just so many. I didn't notice her number. I'm just gonna start at the top. Yeah, I don't know when I'll ever find, like, any bootlegs. <laughs> we'll see, though. Number 111, thank you! There we go. Kuneko. Oh, yeah, so it still shows you Shining Kuneko in slot 111. There we go. Yeah, we gotta record the monster. So good. Uh, So what do we do now? Yeah, I still have plenty of rangers to find. We still, I still don't know where like any of the rest of these are. Oh yeah, so we, sh we should really do Scattershot because this will also be related to uh, a ranger and we want to do all those. So I'm going to set this as the max. Let's go get Kaneko in our party because that sounds fun. <laughs> oh, another rumor for me. What you saying? A ranger buddy of mine told me about these movies. Oh, yeah, at the lake? What's up with the lake? They speculate that if you stand on the buttons in the right order, that's what I thought. I thought that was the thing. 
It leads you to treasure. Takes you in a big loop, they say. Okay. So I couldn't find the starting one. I think that's what I was failing at. Yeah, I do have Telekitty. I think we uh we got her evolution too. Because I hung out with Meredith for a bit. Telekitty was really fun, but then I started doing other stuff. All right, so let's play with party stuff. Wait, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh, party, check Felix. Interesting. So I really thought they would have had increased stats when using Kuneko 2, but it's only Brush Room or it's Remaster. Oh yeah, it was Cap 5. <laughs> it was Cap 5. Yeah, Cap 5 does look really cool. I just always feel bad about using a creature without like their their owner around. I don't know. Although, so if I do bring Kuneko out, who do I replace? So Southpaw, too amazing, too cool. Brushroom, we're trying to get to level five. Galagor is my tank, I need them. Mothmanic is my AoE, which is very good. Pyromelian is kind of like the wild card. They just kind of like have a bunch of crap that other people don't have. Miasmodius is my starter, and they also have fire resistance, which is really good. Um, honest, well, there's the only fire in my team, the only fire and poison, pretty much. What else do you have? I could probably, oh yeah, you have chemical and balance too, which is always fun. Although I should definitely kind of move this around. I have enjoyed having raise arms trigger so much though. I should probably take Bite off for you, because melee attack is not your bag anyway. And Pustule Bomb, I just liked having an AoE, but what can I put on you in general? I can put so much on you. Bonbon bon Blast, that's so cute. It's one target, lowers the evasion. 70 power for three is okay. Lowers their accuracy. I hate missing attacks. I do not want this. <laughs> Hot Potato is so dangerous. Oh, you got the Shining Kaneko, Cat 5, Southpaw. I don't, oh, Decibel, I know Decibel. I don't know if I know those other two. Moonshine, so that's confused. Mind Meld is interesting. I don't know if I want to use that though. The user speed is passively raised in proportion to the amount of HP loss. That's interesting. There's actually not too many things that I would really want to grab. Hmm. I don't have like a high AP move that would really work in her toolkit, I think. Oh, enjoy your lurk friend. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, a 70 power two AP is really good. It's just not max accuracy, so you're kind of gambling. I mean, ritual makes sense for the character, for the critter. I don't know if I, well, it's just basically an extra life. So I guess I could have that on there. I could either have that or Toxic Stab or Vengeful Curse. Well, Vengeful Curse and Ritual feel like they go together really well. Because even if you die, whoever kills you is going to be really fucked up. So that actually sounds kind of fun. So they can be kind of like a sacrificial critter. And then I guess I'll take away Elemental Wall. Oh, they're not gonna die very quickly if I'm using them against fire monsters, but I guess it's fine too. If we could use Ritual for free with Chemical Imbalance, that might be a play. So Kepri is a rare spawn that after last stream and Ramtasm, oh, okay, so they were the other starters. So you chose the Godi. So fire is pretty easy to get a, a type advantage on. So we could type advantage, get the ritual, uh, and then if we die, we just vengeful curse. And then they just have like sort of basic attacks after that. I think that's fine. I think that's fun. A sack monster, how evil, Kellogg? Well, you know, it's kind of a sack base economy, you know, from Australia, which is where, of course, I was born as a kangaroo, because we all were, because it's all pouch based. So pouches, sacks, you know, it's all kind of just about storing different things. Also, hi. 
There's a goat starter? There is. Um, you choose between either, uh, what is it, sweet or spooky, and spooky is a goat option. Kefri is fire as well. Fire seems very versatile. I really do like having a fire critter around. Or at least fire moves. Uh, I actually haven't seen any of the other starters' forms. I just know that they're goat-like. Oh, Electric 2, nice. Hi, Sil. Um, I think I'm going to replace Pyramelion for now. Um, just to play with Kaneko for a little bit. Uh, Headshot's really good. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Bone Cannon is really awesome. Uh, damage Roll is super fun. Roll again is dangerous. <laughs> it is fun. It is fun, but it, it is both help me and hurt me, I think, in equal proportions. So, uh, oh, sorry, not party. Tape storage. Uh, let's see. So, party, we're going to put you away just for now, friend. I love you. Put in storage. Uh, so, not storage. By name. Okay. So, Kuneko. Papa. My favorite. And then, oh, do you go to the top of favorite? Oh, just reset. Okay. Add the party. All right, so let's think about what to do. God, Headshot is really fun. I forget what custom starter is. Do I own that one? Uh, I don't see it here. Somebody might have it on them, though. Kuneko. All right, so we definitely want to... Oh, not E-R. I want to give her something. She really only has Wink and Smack. I don't know if I'll really use Smack either. Or sorry, Wink. I don't think I'll use that. I'll use Kellef Wink. Uh, Bite is always a simple, just nice move. It's 80 power for three. It heals a little bit. Oh, Broadcast is always good. Broadcast is really fun. Being able to multi-target. Ooh, I could give you the damage roll just for fun. <laughs> Yeah, there's the headshot. I guess, she, oh yeah, anybody can equip that. That's a really good one. Rapid fire is always nice. I don't know if I want that on you specifically. You could also put Unicast on. You could put Toxic Stab on. Uh, I mean, if she had multi-target and Toxic Stab, that's fucking dangerous, honestly. I mean, Toxic Stab is just a good mood in general. It's just so much damage. Uh, what are the random things they can throw on you for now while you're just kind of, like, growing? Rapid Fire is always really nice. Sonic Boom is good if you don't happen to have the multi-target. I kind of do love damage roll. <laughs> it's not... I don't know if it's a great move, but it's really fun. Okay. So I can give you either like a fire, a fire or a lightning move. Yeah, I agree because like the paint swipe move that Brush Room has, I feel like feels a lot weaker than Toxic Stab, but they both say 90 power. Man, she can put so many types on, it's crazy. I'm not gonna have any empty slots, but this could be fun to use. I mean, I'm always going to choose Toxic Stab over this, right? Unless there's a typing reason. I guess it does have priority over other moves. Superheated Fist, that's just a 60. She doesn't have a 260. I feel like that's probably a good thing to put on her just for now. All right, we're definitely going to change her a lot, but uh, we just need to level her up, really. <laughs> Um, what do we want to do? Uh, I put on a quest to go. Yeah, over here. <laughs> bah, bah, bah. Let's go! Alright, so we just gotta beat us some bullets, right? Oh, yeah, it's fine to do fire to you. <laughs> I love how they also go off geometry just like me. I miss. Oh, God, Masquerade so cool. I should put Kaneko on Felix just to play around with her because she's fun. Oh, wait. 
there was not actually a bullet in this fight. Oh, I just assumed there'd be a bullet in this fight. Yeah, that was a lot of damage. You're dead. <laughs> Yeah, I probably shouldn't have you as a starter either. There's going to be a bunch of fire types around here, and that's just begging for damage on Southpaw. Um, but honestly, Kaneko would be a great choice. So I'm going to pull them in. So party, uh, we're going to swap out. Upgrades, limited amount. All of up, a fair amount in comparison. Okay, so th they're a lot... They, they're a lot more prevalent in the game. I mean, upgrades are amazing. <laughs> Not having to grind for that four to five star. I do love seeing it. Uh, oh, yeah, we can just round start damage roll. That's so fun. Why the heck not? <laughs> Oh, 320! Hell yeah! <laughs> Why use item when you get this horde instead? Yeah, you know, me and dragons, we just, we just, you know, have a lot of things in common. We just always want to keep things with us forever. Me and my pouch, them and their horde. Oh, Kinect is really cool already. I like her. So true, so true. Oh, see, she already got half a level. That's awesome. I know, 420, if she got that, and also being wind, I mean... I love dashing and people doing a bunch of damage. Glad you like her? Yeah, she's cool. Uh, let's see, so superheated fist. Uh, it doesn't really matter if I do a fire or not. I think it's fine. God, they're so fast. They're such a quick little bullet. God, I love the fact that self-destruct gives her an air draft here. <laughs> She's a really good counter, just as that type right here. I mean, Felix I probably shouldn't be using, but the coding I think helps him a little bit. Oh, first level for Kuneko. Sharp edges, contact damage, okay. Yeah, so they're the person I'm doing stuff for. Real difficult to meditate around here with all the Bolatina zooming around. Yeah, how many do I have to kill? Let's find out. <gasps> oh, a Creamsicle. You know, there's so many fire type monsters around here. I really need something to cool off with. Oh my God, Caffeine, thank you so much for uh, for allowing me to cool off with a Creamsicle. That's great. Are we rarin? We're gonna rar for Polo. This is just Kangi to Kangi communication. You know, not many people get to see it, but when there's just a kangaroo meetup, we all just get really close and go, hi, it's a, it's been a while. How's it going? Hope you're well. Rawr. You know, that's how it is. That's how it is. And nobody can prove me long unless you're a kangaroo. Also, hi, hope you're well, Paula. <laughs> Congrats on the meditation milestone of the 30,000 minutes slash 500 hours. Hey, thanks. Oh, it's exactly like that, Caffeine. Just like a feedback loop. <laughs> uh, oh, I didn't even look at the quest. Uh, oh, four out of five? You need to do one more. Oh, right-click also opens the menu? I didn't even realize. Mm -hmm. I missed. Oh, you can just catch them? Bro, I thought you had to, like, put Zephyr sticker on, like, a five-star mask rattle to get them. You can just catch the dragons? I want them. You better not kill them before I kill them. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, cool. So I can damage roll right here and then record you. Uh, do I have a poison one? I have three poisons. I want the dragon. I want the dragon. Jorman Gold, get in my pocket. Get in my pouch. Recording. Oh, eating Hawaiian pizza. I have a picture just for you after this battle. <gasps> oh, they hypnotized him? Okay, I was really nervous. Him falling asleep would cancel out the record, but thank it did. <gasps> I can't record. Him 
falling asleep made him fail a 100% chance to record on this dragon? Hmm. I can prevent them from running away at the very least just by spamming basic tapes. Uh, you can't do anything, so whatever, yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to prevent you from running away with basic attacks because Kelif is full health. Multi-shot will probably kill Felix. Oh, you're sharpening? Ooh. Don't worry, they can't go anywhere. They're fine. Oh. That's okay. I don't expect the recordings to hit. This is a stall tactic. We're stall tacticing until they're fucking awake again. And if I get like a 16% chance, then cool, whatever. <laughs> uh, if Felix, is, if Brushroom dies, it's not a big deal. Welcome to your sadness with that. I know now. <laughs> oh, Mask Rattle has three evolved forms. I only found the one uh, note on the west side of town that talks about how to get the one with using the Zephyr sticker. So I, that's interesting to know there's more than that though. So yeah, Brushroom died. We're going to replace them. Galagor, you're the tank. You're meant to be sleeping anyway. All right, so last turn that we have to waste time on with a basic tape. Because I'm not losing this chance to get this critter. Gosh, I love Hawaiian pizza. I'm amazed they didn't hit Kelf at all yet. Oh, they're berserk? That's not a big deal. Okay, okay, okay. Now, now we can do things. <laughs> so I want her to damage roll. And I want you to record and to not fall asleep, my guy. Don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. I'm using the nice tape. I'm doing it. Caliph bless. Don't put me to sleep again. And don't kill Felix. Don't do that either. Okay, no sleepies. Still alive. We're going to get the damage roll. It's okay. Damage roll will save us. Okay, thank God. Okay, it was worth it. It was worth... It was worth stalling. It was worth it. It was worth it. Curiously, German gold, the wings, are not actually capable of making the huge serpent airborne. Instead, they help it slither along the ground at great speed. Each wing beats any of the beasts hurling forwards. Hell yeah. Whoa, you have a lot of cool stuff. Oh, it's a 50% accuracy. Preemptive strike. This one's a really good sticker. I don't think I had that. Revenge strike, sharpen spit, multi smack. You have a lot of fun stuff. Bite, deja vu. Deja vu is really good too. You hope to get a good dragon card? <laughs> yeah, this is the most dragony like critter that I know about. Yeah, let's favorite you. All right, now we can actually beat this fight. <laughs> uh, yeah, toxic snap. Rawr! Oh my god, we're roaring. I just want to end this fight as soon as possible. Get out of here, my guy. We had to stall for so long. That's the one you would have picked, but you missed that note earlier. So, um, uh, because I, I haven't read the note in a while. That's pretty early on. So you need like a five-star mask rattle and then you just give him Zephyr and something happens. Okay. So, two things. One, uh, hi, we're gonna have a good dragon. Two, uh, Hawaiian pizza. Guess what I did yesterday? I was showing off these pictures earlier. Whoa, my husband made three different pizzas, including, uh, including a Hawaiian pizza and his fancy uni oven. Delicious. Ah, oh, so good. You love Hawaiian pizza? I am a huge fan, 100%. A Yu-Gi-Oh booster pack. Oh, there's a lot of good dragons in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. So he had the what? He had sausage pepperoni. He had the Hawaiian pizza. And he decided pepperoni and cheese after that. Uh, hi, we're going to get a good dragon. This is art. Do, 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 do. Let's look at this one. Hi, this is by Sparrow Lucero. What a nice, long, wiggly friend. Oh, we just caught a serpent. We caught another one right here. Let me record it. 
Oh my god, it was a 100% recording chance because we're in love. I love long wiggly creatures exactly like this. I love the wings on the back. I love the stylized scales. Just the chick, chick, chick. Any artist where it feels messy but also refined, amazing. I don't know how people can do that sorts of stuff, but they're so good. <laughs> You get a third option when you try and remaster a mask or rattle. There are so many critters that I want to just like level in the background. Otherwise you get aggressive, Yorg, and elegant. Okay. All right, so we did we did all those. Um, so he's gonna be a fight, right? I have one of them, right? I have a, yeah, I have a respool. I have two, perfect. Perfect. Hi, friend. Quest complete, scatter shots. Hey, thanks for that, man. It shouldn't be this hard for a ranger captain to get a bit of shot eye around here. Oh. Oh, I guess I didn't expect this guy to be a ranger captain. Uh... Uh, I guess you're here to take my ranger training challenge, right? Yeah. <sighs> okay, let's hit the hay. I mean, hit the battlefield, yeah. Uh, I didn't think about it. He's definitely going to put me to sleep. <laughs> He's definitely going to put me to sleep, right? Meditator. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This makes sense. This makes sense. You're using the creature that falls asleep to make sure that they buff themselves. This is all tracking. This is all tracking. Um, This is perfect Uh, to have Kelef on this critter. Uh, I don't know if contact damage would be helpful here, because I'm pretty sure both of them are just going to be ranged. I think, yeah, I'm just going to broadcast, and then... Mm, so broadcast is a good idea, but superheated fist, I don't know if that's a great idea. It'll be fine. And then you're going to paint swipe. You're the only one I can hit because of this, right? Yeah, character is intercepting all attacks directed at their allies, so there's no reason not to hit you. You just go, oh yeah, I could have just fused, huh? I keep forgetting, like, because I was using Eugene for so long, I forget that people can fuse just once you have the bar full. I keep expecting it to have to be like, you know, part of an emotional story beat. Yeah, I guess I could set up a good fuse. Who should we fuse here? I don't think this is a fuse team. I think I could switch into Southpaw and then get like a really cool fuse team. So this will still hit both of them, right? Hmm. Yeah, Southpaw is an amazing fuse friend. Zoom. Aw, oh, yeah. God, multi target's so good. Okay, unfortunate we got the burn, but that's okay. They're sleeping. Oh, I'm gonna fuse. What is this going to look like? Is Southpaw gonna get wings? I kind of hope so. I kind of hope Southpaw gets wings from this. Caliph and Felix's heart act as one. <laughs> oh my god, they're ready to go out to prom night. This is great. I didn't think the arms would be replaced, but they sure were. <laughs> we got a nice fit for Southpaw. Southpaw in a dress with that double colored hairdo. I love it. <laughs> I love it. That's great. Every fusion with Southpaw just makes me happy. Sadly, you have to have that out for a bit. Good luck. Thanks, Glorifox. I appreciate all the hot tips and the help and the excitement. Go have fun. Go have a great night. So we're going to get four AP a turn, which means I can still multi-smack. And because of multi-target, I'm going to hit both them with multi-smack. And then we can gear shear if we want to next turn. Uh, AP down, it's still gonna work because instead of getting four, we'll get three. Uh, oh no, it wouldn't work. Uh, I should, I guess I should just, uh, oh, it's bottom. If I just sharpen, then I'll get to gear shear at the top. But multi smack is probably better for me right now because it'll hit more critters and I can kill the Salamagas off. I'm gonna try that. Anytime, I appreciate it. Yeah, that was a lot of damage. I think that was worth it. Oh, we got the kill! Oh, we got the kill on Solid Magus. Worth it. Worth it, IMO. Yeah, this is a one, uh, what is it? One at a hundred chance that they get this. It's pretty small. 
Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to get the damage up, get the sharpen, and then we're going to do the nice, cool, big attack after this. There's no way you hit this. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna gear shear. Gear shear! Oh no, they're woke! Two. Wow, you still have so much defense. That's crazy. Man, I did a huge attack. Um, so we're gonna get four a turn. Uh, so we don't need, hmm, I think I'm gonna try and get them low and then try and gear shear and hopefully gear shear is going to kill the trainer once they get them low enough. That's the plan. So I'm still gonna get plus one AP from this. Them getting more AP doesn't matter to me because they're already full and they can't do much with it. So try and get them low with this and then gear shear when they're really low on health. So in other words, my next hit should be gear shear if I tie things right. Yeah, they're gonna be, oh uh, yeah, the spit. That's okay, we're gonna get three here. I think I'm just gonna smack. Oh, I didn't think it would actually kill, that's fine. I didn't play that right. How's the fight going? Have I won yet? Oh. Yeah, I thought it'd be Galagor. Galagor's so cool. Uh, so I can do a 2 AP here. So I think a broadcast doesn't matter. Uh, contact damage? Uh, you could have either ranged or melee, so I don't really know. I think I'll just double smack. I think I'll just double smack, and then I'll gear shear after this. Yeah, you have full AP, and you're using a zero AP move because I've berserked you. This is fine, this is not a big deal. Hi, Lucian, it is a big deal, because I love saying hi to Lucian. How's your night going, friend? God, gear shear is so good. Oh, we got the crit, whoa! That was 400 plus damage on this Galagor, holy heck. All right, I'm gonna try and multi-smack and get a kill. We'll see if I can. It's not gonna work, he has so much health. Any game that puts lyrics into the background music during cool boss fights is the best game ever. So this and Iconfell are the only two games I can think of that really do that. Victory. Oh, Kuneko got another level. <laughs> Bad joke. This, the user tells a random joke. This has no effect. I kind of want to use that. <laughs> I kind of want to use bad joke. It's uncommon. Use grind EXP, just percent EXP, sure. That's so funny. I love that. Wow. I think the final blow woke me up. Here's your reward. A stick. Wow, we're still missing so many of these. Two of them I know are in the harder, higher level area. So we have, what, four or five that we can still look around and find. Surefire, uncommon. Guarantees the target's next move will not miss. Caliph Mischief. The enemy was like, I'm tired. I'd be, be <laughs> I'd be tired too if I got beat up by a set beast. Yeah. So you shrekt yourself earlier today in Beat Saber? Thankfully, it's all ogre now. <laughs> I could do with a cup of coffee to wake me up. Did I ever hit this? I don't remember. I thought I did. I guess not. I mean, I have this ability, which I haven't been using, but uh, it kind of makes a lot of traversing mostly trivial. <laughs> they still hit me. Uh, they're really low level. I'm going to run from this one. You remember one of the captains gave you issues. Ooh. Oh, dang. It was, it was actually only a 60% chance. I didn't notice. I just assumed to be 100 because I'm like 30 levels higher than them. Fine, I guess I'll kill you. Uh, yeah, Kuneko might die here. I'm gonna go back to town anyway, so I guess it's not a huge deal if something bad happens. Uh, sure, I'll damage roll. I'll just smack you, you'll die. Okay, cool. <laughs> because of the type advantage, they attack Brush Room over Kuneko. God, you're so strong! Whoa, your stats are so big! Yeah, Glorifox was right. Like, Kaneku's stats are like off the chart. 
there isn't really a currency in this game. The currency is resources. Yeah, when I played Path of Exile, I thought that was like one of the coolest parts of it is that it was a barter economy instead of a classic just, you know, gold or dollar economy. So what do I want to do now? I want to go back to town and heal. That's what I want to do. Show me them critters. Okay, oh, I'll show you this dog. So you're a dog. Arf! But you can use a cassette player to transform into monsters like the rest of us? Arf, arf! Are you some kind of magical talking dog from like another world? Arf. Hmm, I guess not. That's pretty great. <laughs> I love seeing the different party members interact with each other. You love the dog? They're perfect. So you know how like if I like jump and fly around in the world, which I don't know if it'll let me do here. Yeah, I get like the little wings. The dog spawns a balloon and it's really adorable. <laughs> they just make themselves fly just a little bit. Oh my God, is it bully time already? It does not feel like it's been two and a half hours. That's crazy, whoa. Hello, how are you? Arv. Oh, you're a dog, you can't speak English. Arv? Yeah, maybe they can like understand it. That's what I would love to know. I wonder if you do more of like the dog side quest, they eventually just speak English. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Hi, it's bully time. This really just means if you haven't been here for a bully time, that uh, I'm gonna stand up, stretch my legs, make sure to take care of myself, and this is me encouraging you to do the same. Uh, maybe you need a snack. Maybe you need a drink. Maybe you need a stretch. All of these things would be good, but really just think of it like a contract, because if you go take care of you, I go take care of Rue, and uh, it's a win-win, and I'll be back in like five minutes. Imagine arriving just in time for bully time. Well, thankfully, that's never happened on this Twitch channel. <laughs> uh, there's been times where like, oh, it's like, oh, okay, hi, it's bully time. Whoa, I'm going to go do this. And I like immediately get raided. Or I guess the worst possible timing is I take off all my accessories. I get ready to go. And then I just see the like the raid happening. <laughs> it happens, though. It's fine. Jar, I hope you've been super good. What you been up to? I'm gonna sip water. Mm. Should I pour more tea? Yeah, I should pour more tea. Oh, you're visiting family for the weekend. Did you eat out at like any cool restaurants or uh, did you do anything else? You just stay at the home place mostly? 
Ba -ba 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 Good old Califix site. Gosh, I love Califix site. <laughs> so chat, how many channel points uh, to to have a date with me at the Gramophone Cafe? You know, I'm just waiting, I'm just waiting. Somebody just has to spend the channel points and then we're just gonna sit at this table just right over here. We're just gonna talk about life. We're gonna talk about what's on our minds and uh, just how, how everything's been treating us, you know. <laughs> Should that be expensive? It might, it might need to be expensive. Oh, 8,943 points. That's so specific, whoa. You went to a mango-themed expo? This sounds awesome. Mangoes are great. Health needs sun chips. This is so true, because sun chips are freaking delicious. I adore sun chips. I can't remember the last time I bought, like, chips. <laughs> it's been a while. Hmm. When we had that pizza party, uh, the, the new local furry who I hadn't met before brought, like, chips and salsa and queso. So I guess we do still have some of those chips left. So Felix says... Something I said after we said goodbye to Kaneko. About how this adventure lit a fire in me. Do you remember? I do. Mm. I was kind of in a creative rut before I was dropped here. For a long time, I worked at a company making Zot stories, art, writing, the whole package. I wasn't in charge, but it was my baby, you know? It wouldn't have happened without the blood and sweat that I put in. I waited for so long my superiors to recognize my contribution, but... They never did. Instead, they shuffled me around at the company and distanced me from the stories and characters I had been working on for so long. Hmm. They also made damn sure not to pay me what it was worth either. So eventually I quit and tried to strike it out on my own. Good for you, they're lost, both true. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate it. Look at him blushing. All of the bitterness from my previous work made it hard to get into the mindset I need to create art again. So that's why I feel like I'm inherited for a new world for a reason. Thanks for hearing me out. Yeah. I think I have an easier time talking to you about this and account of us having fused into a super monster. <laughs> yeah, you know what? It helps you get closer to someone. I suppose that does bring people together. <laughs> anyway, I can't go back until we find your doorway out. Shall we get back to the grindstone then? Okay. Hi. Oh my god, oh, my relationship just increased with Ghost Mod. They raided me. You're at my second level relationship now. That means you can store not one, but two items in the pouch for free. You have to go out onto the town and you're like, oh man, I don't want to hold these things in my pocket. Don't worry, I got you. Hi. <laughs> oh, you were streaming Amnesia the Bunker? I, uh, I never played, what was it, uh, the, the second one that had pigs in the title? I played the very first one way back when, when, like, scary YouTube videos were all the rage of people just screaming <laughs> their reactions to the invisible monsters in the water and shit. Kangi. Hi, that's me. Whoa, I'm so Kangi. Oh, we're just Garf kissing up in here. <laughs> I, while I have no motivation to make a Garf kiss style emote, I have daydreamed about what I would want as a kissing style emote. And for me, I think it would be Ratchet <laughs> from Ratchet and Clank. Although I guess I should load up my own sticker pack because I do have, I do have a kissing sticker I'd like to share with the Raiders. You're also Garf experience. Oh, this would be fun to share up too. But uh, I'll show you a couple stickers that I've drawn on this channel over time. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, cool. Uh, so hi, you can join me over here and I can show you. Um, these are both part of my Telegram sticker pack. I have, of course, the very gentle YCH kiss. We oh, I'm just blushing. I'm just blushing a little bit. My paws are on your chest. Whoa. Uh, but also, I have me kissing the conductor and he's also threatening me with a knife. So this is my personal vibe. <laughs> The pouch gave you what you need most. Was it comfort? When do I get an actual plush I needed? <laughs> Kangi plush. Do I, do I know anyone who's uh, efficient at plush making? I guess I would need, uh, what is it, dropship? They do like a ship, uh, buh, 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 like plushes for creators. I know Fur uh, got one made through that recently. Oh, Machine for Pigs. Yeah, that's what it's called. Apparently it's bad. I did hear that. <laughs> so I didn't miss very much. Yeah, there's a lot of different Garfs around. I forgot that Detra had them tugging them on their leash. 
So, Golden, you're right. I did say that I was a chip fiend. This is why I can't purchase them, because if I do, they're gone. I've destroyed them. Ratchet, very understandable. All oh, wolf snubs, you're an individual of taste, I see. <laughs> I know Conductor. Oh, Conductor's so handsome. I love them. Makes an anime. Oh, am, 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 am I don't know what that word is. Amigurumi Crochet Doll of Kangiru. I don't know if I've heard that one. Yeah, I do like both these stickers. <laughs> Hi! Uh, if any of the raiders don't know me, uh, my name my name is Kalif. I'm a silly kangaroo on the internet. I usually play weird or sad indie video games and do art like the style that I just showed you. Uh, currently, I'm playing through Cassette Bees, which is kind of like Pokemon if you could TF into the monsters and also record them and hang out with really hot people like Felix. Felix is really cool. There is an Amnesia Rebirth too. Did I play that one? No, I only ever played the original one. I'm usually not a spooky video game boy. I'm normally very timid <laughs> and scared easily. I've never actually played Phasmophobia, even though I'm a VR fiend. I went to a knockoff Phasmophobia VR chat world and I was still scared. Amegurumi, it's a style of crochet doll with a kind of like bubbly soft look. I like how you put the ruin caps there, I appreciate that. Fusions you form with Felix now have added strength. Okay, um, I don't think, I, did I actually rest? I don't remember. Felix recollects some fun anecdotes about the citizens of Harbor Town. That was all autocorrect, baby. <laughs> it felt so intentional and real. You're partial to the cheek kiss. That is a cute one, you're right. So what should we do now? So we're only level like 41, which is not very high. Uh, what quest lock should we focus on? So Meyer sees way over there, Mount World's way up there. Oh yeah, the movie's signpost. That's the active one. Yeah, so I remember the, the metal woman up here. I thought that was the coin operated one. Did I just not find the correct individual? I'm gonna remind myself what this is. It understands the importance of Rue. I appreciate that. I want everybody to know how important Kangi Rue is. There is no Archangel over here. I mean, there probably is, and that just means I haven't found it. Uh, my closest fast travel is nowhere. It's where I am. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, I'll go check that out. I'm trying to just go through some of my side quest backlog because the upcoming area is looking pretty strong. So instead of just sitting and grinding like random critters, uh, I'm just grinding side quests instead. Oh my God, he's up there. Oh, how do he get up there? He can't get down. We have to call the critter fire department and somebody's got to bring a ladder. This poor traffic crab must be scared out of his mind. We're gonna go make the call. <laughs> oh, actually my daily item, I will take you high. Zoom. Have you tried this game, Polo? I know you're into Pokemon because you've been doing like your Nuzlocks and stuff. This has been a very fun take on the genre. Zoom. Oh yeah, I never did. Uh, I never did get this. Is it a, was it Control, Tab, Alt? I don't remember how I did this. E, R? It was R, okay. You think you might get it soon? It is super duper adorable. It's very fun. Oh, I remember. I remember. Yeah, it's been a very cozy video game for sure. Can I make this? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So somewhere around here. Oh, yeah, wasn't there something that I was not able to get here before? I didn't have this ability the last time I was in here. Perfect. Ah, I should have expected that. Oh, there's such a silly goober. They have the hoodie on. They got wings, spring mort. I know you must have the never mort as, as a component of yourself. That's so good. <laughs> oh, bad joke. We still need to do this. I don't want to do it right now, but I will want to do this at some point. I am going to superheated this because the type advantage and we're going to burn them. And then I'm going to paint swipe. 
Whoa, you just first turned Pustule Bomb? You were so fast. Aw, oh, yeah, get the burn. Have you ever played, like, other Pokemon light -like games, Polo? This is my first one, I think. Uh, damage roll will do a shit ton of damage. Um, I think I'll just switch off of you. I'm mostly just trying to level you right now. Um, Southpaw is an amazing one to switch into at all times. Oh, now you have wind. Okay. Oh, you rolled a one! I've never rolled a one in the damage roll before. The one hits you. <laughs> I should have expected this. I should have known that if you roll a one, it's a critical fail and you take damage. I should have known. I should have known. I've rolled that thing a lot and I never got the one. <laughs> I never got it. Um, hi, I'm going to use a rewind on myself. There we go. Um, I should sharpen, but I'm just going to multi-smack and hopefully go through a lot of his health. The difficulty hacks always scratch that good itch. I'm glad you enjoy them. Oh, never punish except when I roll a one. Oh, of course, it was a spring heal. Okay, so you're still flinched, so I can still do whatever I want. Uh, Toxic Stab is always an amazing ability. I want to kill the Nevermore before I focus on the Spring Heal, because they'll probably have Toxic Stab, and it does so much gosh darn damage. We're guaranteeing a kill here. Oh, I got the crit! Oh, I got the crit and the overkill. So I think the worst thing that they'll probably be able to do is flinch me which I'm not too worried about. And I'm so not worried, I'm gonna tell a bad joke and then they're gonna get the kill. So what's the bad joke? Oh, it's gonna happen at the after I kill them? This is BM! We win the fight and the bad joke? Ah. Oh. Oversight by the developers. Bad joke doesn't trigger if you beat the fight. Man, man, okay. <laughs> Fine, I wanted it. So sad. Uh, oh, elemental coating, wheat, fuse type. That's fine. So this is an exit over here, right? Oh, it can. Oh, it continues and it blows me away. Uh, these are really cheap. The rewinds. Should I do another kill right now? Why not? They're so cheap. What's the difference between a good joke and a bad joke? The timing. So true. Oh, it was just here. Okay. Also, that uh, that's a locked chest. Do 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 do. So if it's locked, it's very likely to have something over here that's gonna open it. I don't remember opening that one before. Hmm. <laughs> that was not a correct landing, but we're fine. So. Oh, that actually worked! <laughs> I didn't think that would work. Not that we need to be here. Uh, I'm kind of just looking around in the ocean. I know I was originally going to look for the uh, the coin-operated individual, but uh, we kind of just ran around instead. Have I tried swimming to the end of the map? I don't think I have. Honestly, it lets you go really far. There has to be something hidden in like the far edges, right? Like in one of these directions, there has to be something to vet the devs hid, right? They give you so much stamina to explore. This is one of the only chests you never unlock. Whoa, really? Is this the type of thing that you looked up after the fact or you're just like, I'm not gonna deal with it. It looks like a fake tree, but I think that's just a design decision. Get my stamina back here. Oh, wait, is this a lever? Oh! <laughs> no! You're so fast! Mm -hmm. Okay.
No, I was still too slow. Whoa. Okay, we're gonna try again. You have to like beeline it. Oh, I saw the E. Okay. <laughs> Did one of the critters despawn? Oh, I landed on the edge. Oh, I landed on the edge of the platform. I just plapped on down. <laughs> it's such an awkward angle to try and go. Okay, they have both officially walked into the water and despawned. This is my chance to shine. Ooh, okay. Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna slightly walk forward and then dash. Because the angle is kind of weird. Ooh, okay, that does not work. We were so close, we got it before. All right, what's the right angle here? I think we do this and then this. Ooh. Oh, the water slows you down so much. Maybe start like right here. Ooh. So you can't dash in the water. Can I just do this instead? I try and coast with a double space bar. I can't seem to trigger it from that distance. Oh, okay, I just have to get better jump, okay. So what if we dash and then glide? Maybe you don't even need the, to dash. <laughs> wait, wait, how did I fail that before? Did I have to hit it faster? Hmm. Do I have to be over the water to trigger it? I think I have to be over the water because that angle looks like perfect. Oh, then there's like landing lag if you do that though. I'm feeling determined now. Oh, can you jump at the end? So can you like dash and then jump into the water? Oh, you can. Oh, okay, let's try that. Well, <laughs> that's because I had a starting angle. Oh, that would have been perfect. Oh, okay. Combine all of them. Dash, jump, and then do your butterfly wings. Oh, then the lag again from the land. Unfortunate. How do I get this? Because I can't hold this down with like a psychic power or a rock or anything. Oh, <laughs> I bounced off the edge. Have I tried wave dashing? Yeah, I've tried like, just skipping myself like a like a thrown rock off the surface of the water. Sadly, it uh, didn't seem to take. Oh, that was close. It's so weird bouncing out of the water. Ooh, I was hoping to land in the water right before it and then just walk on up. Ooh. That was perfect. And then I just dashed again. Bro, I've taken so long, the critters are respawning. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Glass bonds, uncommon. It damages the target each time it transforms. Okay, nailed it. First try. Oh yeah, Felix should hold it for me. You're so right, you're so right. That was a fun little adventure to go on. <laughs> this is one of those times where like setting your own goals in a video game just makes it more fun. So I've tried going off to the bottom of the map and there is nothing. I'm officially gonna try this just for fun. The Meyer C. First time, let's go! Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to find some secret in the depths of the ocean. I really doubt it's gonna happen though. Zoom. Uh, what should we doing now? Oh yeah, I came over here to find the, the coin woman, right? Because metal woman is in the north and the coin operated one is over here. Whatever that means. So it's gonna be in this zony zone. It's gonna be south, because I already kind of explored the up bits. Have I, t uh, have I fought you? Oh, I can just talk to you? I remember having an out-of-body experience. I was floating above my body in bed, and then whoosh, 
Just suck down a vortex. Next thing I knew I was here. We could do one of these fights. I'm kind of over-leveled for the zone anyway. Uh, uh, I'll probably start... So, because it is... It's going to be a swarm battle, right? So, I think swapping into you is really good. Just got soul board! It just happens. It's so real. Oh, only the swarms are... Well, there's still going to be party stuff here. Level 33, hyper traffic crab. Okay. Um, I think I'll superheated fist you. Yeah, we'll change you to poison type, which I think will be fine. Boar. Oh, I didn't know that would uh, <laughs> excite Oi out from lurking. Hi, Oi. <laughs> the coin woman is at the top of the map. That's what I thought. I could have sworn the side quest here said it was the coin something. I'll look after this. So I'm going to broadcast, and then I can either Zephyr or Energy Shot after this. Oh, multi smack. Ooh, insulated. I didn't change your type fast enough. That's okay. Oh, it only canceled out the other one. I guess that's worth it. Okay. Um. So I did poison you. I think I need to do the same thing. I'm literally just going to broadcast. I'm going to set up for next turn. Get out of here. You've seen a hyper traffic crab in your day? Some E, some website? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Felix is going to live very long here. It's just because hyper traffic crab is so fast. You're also broadcasting? That's my strategy. I think I'm going to superheated fist, which should hit both of you, and it should have advantage on both of you. And I'm also just going to heal Felix, because I want to get use out of this multi. God, they're bullying him. <laughs> All right, superheated fist. Get the burn. Okay, good. Burn on both of them. I love to see that. Oh, you got a crit. Get out of here. Ooh, the AP drain is actually kind of unfortunate. Uh, oh, I can damage roll on both of them. Uh, this is a 60. The target is hit by an additional air attack. I'm fine with that. That'll make it 90. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is great. Stop multi-smacking. <laughs> That's my strategy on Southpaw. Ooh, they're back to plastic. Unfortunate. Oh, we got the kill on all seer. Yeah, I'll have to switch out after this. Oh, you got a 20! Okay, so we flinched. I think I'll switch Felix out because they're gonna go for the type advantage attack. Wow, I have wait, 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 wait. I have multi-target and multi-strike. But I can only smack because of my ruined AP. Ah, oh, unfortunate. That's okay. Uh, yeah, I'm switching. Uh, plastic? You might have fire as well. You're a good choice, I think. You missed lore on the Divinardo C, but Wu looks cool. Yeah, we have them now. They're ours. Good recording. It would have been neat to legit recruit them as a perma third party member. That would be really cool. Oh, the contact damage. I didn't think about that. Uh, Superheated Fist would be really good here. And Push Roll Bomb would kill anyway. Okay, cool. Yeah! Alright, that all worked out. Oh, Kuneku, four star. Elemental Wall, Leech. Ooh, Leech is really fun to have. Okay, so what does the quest log say here? Yeah, coin-operated android woman in Eastham Woods appears to be malfunctioning. So, yeah, I could have sworn that was the thing at the top. But it says it's over here. All right. There we go. <laughs> they went into the water. Oh, you just got lucky and your coin was in the woods. Oh. Okay, so I guess it's not on this island, and it is on the little rock area up here. <laughs> I hit myself with the rock. Can I make this? Oh, I can't do the uh, the vine thing out of the water, right? Yeah, well, let me. Sad. I'll loop around. Or I could drown. One of the two. Bro. <laughs> I couldn't climb up the steps, so I drowned. That's okay. 
Nyo. Okay, if it happened again, I would have been really sad. <laughs> it would have been very sad. Okay. So apparently, there's just something over in this direction, in this square. I don't see anything in this square that could be helpful to us. And this is already out of the square. I should heal though while I'm here. I don't have resources for mobile heals. <laughs> Being out here with only a fire to warm us. It reminds me of summer camp. Or it would if I ever went to summer camp, which I didn't. But this is pretty close to how I imagined summer camp would be like as a kid, so I'm happy. You're so adorable. Oh, you're five? I didn't even notice. Fuck. Remaster your brush room tape in a more powerful form. Uh-huh. <laughs> Whoa! Your brush room tape became fun go. Huh? That's great. You look so much cooler like that. So the fun go has combined the art of combat with the art of calligraphy. Its movements are swift and effective, incorporating strikes from its paintbrush staff with discipline. Ah, with stances. Whoa, you're so cool. That was rad. Oh, T-Chips has such good emotes. So where the heck am I supposed to go? Is it up the stairs, actually? Hmm. Because you're just like a random guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were you just told jokes. You just told jokes. We fought all these dudes before. No, they're a very good kobold. Hmm. I already fought you, and you're on the ground. We already did this little puzzle. And then I'm already out of the range that I'm supposed to go. Eh. Hmm. And we're already out of the range again. Hmm. I go. I can still get the 100% flea, even though there's two of them. We already caught a sands of time. All right, quest log. A coin-operated android in Eastham Woods appears to be malfunctioning. We have to find the coin here. Hmm. Is it just like a random pickup from a fight? Is that how I should be interpreting it more as opposed to something on the actual map? Should I should just be sitting on the ground somewhere? I mean, this is a rock, not a coin to me. Yeah. So this is the edge, so I don't see any like sparklies. See a bunch of rocks, see a couple dudes. I mean, there's a whole bunch of water here. I doubt it'll be hidden in the water. Hmm. Uh, next to the blowy wall? I'm pretty sure I did. I definitely went to the one below it. Um, actually, I have not recorded the manosphere here. Just implore some of that, oi, one, two, <laughs> until the enemy stop fighting me. I mean, it's a very good ability. Uh, I do want to catch the mana spear while I'm here. So what do I want to do with you? I'll do nothing with you, basically. Just broadcast, this, that'll waste a turn. So we should get the kill on Squirey because they're very low. Oh, I actually didn't. Oh, uh, that's okay, because of the multi-target, we should be able to get the kill. Okay, so we're gonna record on the Mana Spear, the Chrome Tape, use on, and then uh, this should be fine. We should just hit both of them. Tater, hi, how's it going? Not your joke, but you changed some words. That's okay, and most of my jokes are not my own. They're just regurgitated from different places I've heard them, like Tumblr. Get the Mana Spear! Okay, cool, still 100. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you invented Oi Hands. Mana Spear. If a Squirey gives in to their dark impulses while training, it's destined to become a Mana Spear evil. Hiding his face beneath a black helmet, the Mana Spear fights without restraint or self-control. Speaking of jokes, how about that airline food? <laughs> what a classic. I got Slice, Quick Smack. Okay. I mean, we already have a... 
the other evolution of them, which I like the design of more. Palangolin is so cute. Mana Spear is cool, they are. All right, let's try this cave up here. Pretty, it's just sitting there. Oh, it's just there. Oh my gosh. Coin. As a strange gold coin issues in the year 0x73 by the state of Nevada, oh. I could have sworn I went in there before. I guess it was empty before I found the android, so I didn't think about it. We love an edgy furry. Oh, we do. <laughs> Have there been any other camera kilting gimmicks since the beginning of the game? I think two. I think there's been two. Um, one, we actually fought the captain earlier who was like hidden. Uh, actually, I guess this area up here in general, when you go around this side of the mountain, because the mountain would be blocking everything, it tilts over there. Uh, there's a captain hidden behind a wall here. Those are the two I remember. So this is, I have the correct quest on, right? Yeah, coin operated. <gasps> okay, <laughs> I can just climb back up, it's fine. Neutralize automatically removes the user's debuffs when their HP falls below 50%. That's pretty good. That's a nice passive. My favorite, Kangi. Hi, Dusky. Hi. How are you doing? Oh, they turned. <laughs> Classic turn. Oh my gosh. There's something wrong with your aura. Are you sick? No, I'm just coral collar. This is natural where I'm from. No, you should. I should be sick? What? You're practicing combos in SF6? Hell yeah. I, I didn't have uh, time to play matches today, but I had like 15 minutes just to sit in training mode with DJ while I hung out in a Twitch chat, so that was fun. Uh, We'll see if I can get a kill before the air wall comes in. Okay, cool. Well, I didn't actually look to see if you had uh, another tape. I guess I just assumed you did. You do, okay. Damage roll does a ton of damage, and we'll see. Okay, no air wall. I know they have that ability usually. Maybe you get the kill with air wall. Oh, with a damage roll, 287 victory murder. I love that for me. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh... Maybe it wasn't your aura afterwards. Just your poor eyesight. Yeah, get glasses. Get out of here. Insert the coin. Yeah. Oh, remove from inventory coin. Quest complete, coin operated. Welcome. Okay, your design is actually so cute though. <laughs> Welcome patron to the Neo Vegas Pharaoh's Emporion. I am Cleo. I'm Cleo and I shall be your table service mechanoid for this evening. Would you like to order some? <laughs> My bad, my reboot functions are pretty rusty. My memory banks take a while to come online. I have the most advanced machine brain that a 24th century casino can afford and I'm still coin operated? Why do my cowardly creators engineer such a fatal flaw in my hardware? Were they afraid that I'd rise up and overthrow them like they deserved? Sorry, I didn't mean to get hostile. Iantha has been encouraging me to work through my past resentment for mankind in a healthier manner. Anyway, I'm Cleo, one of the ranger captains here in New World. Bet you didn't expect a tin can like me to be able to use cassette tapes, huh? It turns out that all the gambling data in my memory banks makes me quite the strategist too. Well. Do you want to fight? The odds are stacked against you. You never know, today might be your lucky day. Give me a second. Um, yeah, they look really cute. I love their design. Yeah, I hope somebody knows how to read binary, because it's not me. Uh, I could rewind, I have two left. You're missing so little health, so it's more about just strategy. Uh, I mean, if she matches the typing of the forest, it'd be lightning. So, oh, I don't have plastic anymore because Robinum's not my party, but that's okay. I don't think Mothmanic is a good starter. I think they're good to switch into because uh, they have a lot of higher AP moves. So I'm gonna swap the tape. Who is a good starter? Southpaw's always a really good starter. We're really close to fusing and this fuse is really good. So yeah, let's go with that. Do you want to fight? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Felix is just hanging out on the torch over there, showing off. 
Let's play Aces High. Well, I'm sorry. I've actually never been high, but thank you so much for offering me drugs in the middle of a forest. I appreciate it. If I were to experience drugs, I think in the middle of a forest with friends really would be the right way to do it. Using a pencil to rewind, but then you lose it. <laughs> you just snap it in half and throw it away. Maybe it's really tiny and then the tip breaks and you don't like it anymore. So this is not the typing I expected here. It's, uh, what is it? That's metal and poison. Definitely not what I thought. So fire's really good. Um, you have a fire right here. You have superheated fist. Um, but should I bro- I should broadcast and hit both of them with superheated fist next turn. That's a great idea. Oh, nice hop. Whoa! T-Jabs just showing off. Praline and I in chat were just saying, gosh, T-Jabs is so cool. Gosh, T-Jabs is nice. And then you disappear. You're too non-binary <laughs> to know how to read binary. I love that you said that. That's great. Uh, and then I'll just sharpen multi-smack next turn. So this is a setup turn. Oh, wait, you just showing off your ace? Characters with the Gambit have massively increased stats but are defeated when the timer on the Gambit status runs out. I've not interfaced with this yet. I've seen it, I have a card for this, but I've not done it. Ah shit, both you do. Okay, interesting. <gasps> okay. They both have roll again? Of course they do because they're gambling. Should I fuse this turn? Hmm. I think I'll do one turn outside of fuse because I'll get two really good hits in right here. I'll get the multi-target fire, which will burn both of them. And then I'll get the multi-smack with the extra damage on them. And then I'll switch. They might do enough damage to kill one of my team members on the next turn. They, they won't have enough AP to do Toxic Stab if they have that a Masquerade, which I think would probably Oko. I think I'm fine to... The roll again will prevent them from keeping a lot of AP unless Spit happens. So I'm going to try this out. I'm going to go for it. Oh, you're fast. AP refund to you? <gasps> They're dead. Oh, I'm so lucky they get a bad roll. They get a bad roll in multi-smack. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're fusing uh, next turn immediately. <laughs> I got very lucky. Oh, you rolled again on Gambit? It failed. Okay, I got really lucky. High fuse. <laughs> oh, we've already seen this one, but it's very silly. I love you, Kuneko Paw. All right, I'm healing right now. All right, rewind. Uh, and I'll still have one turn. Oh no, I didn't, dang. Oh, will I have enough for gear shear next turn? I think I will. Uh, I should probably gear shear Cleo, because Mask Rattle's almost dead and Gambit's gonna run out next turn. <gasps> okay, I'm lucky that Mask Rattle did not have Desperation, or they might because they have very similar movesets, but that does extra damage if you're really low on health, and a Masquerade is. Ooh! I can do their fusion power too. Gives the team berserk status. So this is probably better, because it'll hit the whole team, and Gear Shear is just a singular chance, and also we get to see it. Hi, Luke, I'm green! Fusion power. All right, I've used mostly just to stay alive, because they do a lot of damage. Okay, yeah, Gambit killed them. Fusion power, Windy Meteor! <laughs> I'm green and so is the Meteor! That was amazing. The binary read OUCH in all caps. Thank you, Oi, for looking that up. <laughs> right, Gambit failed. They're still gonna have another critter. You're raising the stakes. Oh, this one's so strong. This one has wonderful seven. Ooh. Um, what should we do here? So I'm gonna get four AP a turn, and we wanna get up to gear shear. So if I spend one, we're gonna gain three next turn. I'll be three away. Hmm. Where is it? It's gonna be near the bottom. 
So I think I'm gonna sharpen, get the three AP, do a two AP move next turn, and then get the max, and then do gear shear. Okay, thankfully you don't seem to have wonderful seven. Are you gonna gambit again? I wonder if that'll be on your list. It probably will be. My health is kind of low. I can also use my last rewind right here as kind of like a stall tactic. I think I will, and then I'll, mm, and then I'll just do the gear shear at the end. I think that's a good idea because this guy's actually doing a heck ton of damage right here. Multi shot. Okay, this seems to be your most dangerous attack, or maybe roll again is just keeping your AP low. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna gear shear you. Get out of here. Oh, they can't do anything scary because they were in aggro. They were in berserk. Ooh, only three rolls. Ooh, we got the smallest number possible. She's going all in. Would you like some? Ouch. Yeah, it's really cute. You're going for the green. I remember you as. I mean, this is probably the only green I've been. Um, I'm not going to try and build up AP. I'm just going to multi smack. I think that's probably the right idea. We get damage roll too. Damage roll is more fun. Wait, Toxic Stab is so good too. Yeah, I just want to Toxic Stab you because get the heck out of here. <laughs> okay. You're gonna keep, oh, you gambit it again. Okay, I'm really happy you're in Berserk before so you could not gambit. Um, Superheated Fish should kill. I mean, honestly, any of my big things should kill. It's multi smack. You're so fast. Oh, the poison got them. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Meanwhile, ouch, like the shirt in the Virgin Chad meme. Good. <laughs> you called my bluff? Well, I like calling uh, buff boys. Bluff boys? I don't know. Kind of similar, but different. I'm impressed and definitely not resentful. <laughs> I'm reluctantly adding you to my internal database of humans. I truly respect it's a small database. You're really cute. Here are my winnings. It's a steak. Yay. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Do I use hexadecimal very much my job? Not at all. Oh, I will save after this. Thank you. Roll again, uncommon. I usually don't like ones that have empty slots. Popping in to say hi, got to sleep, so hi and bye, hi and bye, Tibbs. Have a great night, have a good sleep. You can cash the material in at Harbor's Town, uh, Harbor Town's Town Hall. You humans love the trade, your meaningless little trinkets. They're called enamel pins and stickers. Sorry. I do not intend to direct my ire towards mankind again. Please ignore my remark. Okay. Uh, Let's see, what should I do? So we definitely need to go stock up. We need to go stock up right now. But we got another ranger, which is really good. I intended this to be kind of like the side quest stream. <laughs> uh, okay, rewind. All of them. Perfect. Kel's somehow going to be the first captain last. Yeah, I have no idea where they are. <laughs> I'll probably like accidentally trip over them when I'm like level 90. Hmm. Oh, being here on this island reminds you of being in your hometown. Is that weird? I mean, rar. Is it weird to rar? It's definitely not weird to war. Balthus, you're in a safe space. You can rar as much as you want here. There weren't any monsters where I grew up, but that sense of logging to move on and escape, but not being able to. Not to say I don't love hanging out with you and the others, but it's a big world out there. Many different worlds, it turns out. I want to see as much as I can. He's so cute. I like him. I like his personality a lot. All right, I was steeping more tea. I'm taking the leaves out. I actually have loose leaf tonight. And then we'll look at a good dragon once I have my tea ready. Hex is super important in ROM hacking. Oh, I wouldn't have thought of that. That's interesting. Please let this be a kissable dragon. I mean, you're right. They are all kissable, but I'll find like an extra kissable one. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, they are all really good. Oh, this one's pretty good. <laughs> So this one is a um, it's a bit of a hybrid. Uh, and it's also pizza. It's so related to what we were talking about earlier. This is by the Blue Bear 27. It's a hyena dragon. Sheesh, hi. Oh my god. They are smoochable. 
I I love just how smug they are. <laughs> I love this look in their face, the way their tongue is so pointed, the way the curls. I didn't realize the saved you a slice was referring to the one on the bicep. It turns out I want to kiss dragons with beefy biceps and greasy biceps. Who would have known? Who could have known? Yeah, the back muscles, really good. Love the booty shorts, ripped, implying the TFing right there. The pizza making you hungry? Yeah, so did anybody watch a Goofy movie growing up and how stringy the cheese was and you just knew internally you would never get to experience a cartoon pizza like that? Yeah, that's how I feel looking at this pizza right here. That was another really good smug look. He's kind of smug all around, I like this. Got the smoke coming out of the nostril A's. Yeah, very handsome. Who did this again? The Blue Bear 27. Yeah, that's a very good dragon. Oh, have a good night, Luke. It took you a few minutes to look at the ASCII chart. Turning the binary into numbers was a reflex. <laughs> good. <laughs> Rarar, is that a Ray Rarar? Hi. Rarar, oh my God, we're doing another one. Is this the same werewolf waiting to kill you before trespassing in the woods? You keep seeing that face. Oh yeah, the raccoon tour again. You're here trespassing kind of face. I know they're so smug. I love how smug they are. All right, what's the next closest dragon? This one, this one is by Noel B underscore D. Does that mean they're a bad dragon? I don't think so because their sense of style it's so good. Whoa. Oh my gosh. They got goggles. They got a nice fluffy coat. They're just flying around with their compass looking for somewhere to go. And they just happen to be showing off paws at the same time. Sheesh. Calm down. Leave some parts of the body to explore for later. That's crazy. But... I really like the kind of uh, aesthetic and perspective of this piece because you have the wings coming closer to the camera right here in the left corner. It's on the other side, upper right corner on the other side. It's so cool. It's so fun. Their sense of style, immaculate. They got fingerless gloves. What? Amazing. Orange goggles. Got almost a diamond on the snout. Maybe more of a triangle. I am relating emotionally to you. Thank you, Noel B underscore D, for having such a hot laugh. <laughs> More dragons. I do love dragons. Dragons are so good. I'm going to set my tea now. Mm. Heck yeah. The chest is covered in a sweater. You know when you peel it off. He's going to be gently toned, but not ripped. He's going to be warm to the touch. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah, all the above. What quest do we have left? Uh, oh, is this the actual first captain? <laughs> I remember having this quest for a long time. Wait, uh, have we officially beaten enough captains to uh, get the gym pass? Oh, cutscene. I'm gonna be honest, Iantha. I don't think the other captains get it. Get what exactly? The whole sleep thing, man, my whole deal. They don't know about the dreamscape, the collective subconscious, or how any of it affects this whole place. If I'm honest, I'm trying to suspect they just think I'm a big slacker. Well, well I mean, you are. I know. Hey, don't worry about the others. They don't have to understand your work. They just have to respect my decision to make you a captain. Thanks. Thanks for the pep talk, Captain. Mm, yawn. All this human interaction really takes it out of a guy. <laughs> yeah, this is my daily mood. Oh, I went to work, snooze. Oh, I talked to a friend, snooze. Time to rest. You sent me the werewolf meme? Love the way that his tail is like all cool and split. Yeah, the art was really good. Gosh, I love dragons. Oh. <laughs> all right, let's get the comparison here. Mm -hmm. So this is from Raccoon Tour. We're comparing these two wolves together. Very similar. Me finally getting the courage to tell my crush I like him. The werewolf waiting for me to finish so he can kill me for trespassing in the woods. It kind of does have that same smug ass energy, huh? <laughs> Both handsome guys who you would not mind just them cornering you. It is so true. Squiggly Caliph. Hi, that's me. Hi, I hope you're doing great tonight, Rick. Rah, rah. Hello. Uh, we have so many resources. Yeah, we have 33. 
of 33. Oh wait, I was gonna check the gym pass and the cutscene distracted me. Can I buy this? Hello. Oh. Permits unlimited access to the gym facilities of the town hall, allowing you to customize your base stats? I'm buying it. Okay. Ta -ta. So I've been wondering how this is gonna feel since we started the game. Hey, hey there champ, ready to work out? Let's bump iron! Ooh, interesting. Kellis base stats can be adjusted on this screen. This will affect all of his monster forms. Extra points can be attained from Ranger Wilma. Lower values can be unlocked by defeating more captains. Oh, that's so interesting. Ooh, okay. Ah, oh, I see. This is how you get points. <laughs> well, I feel like I need defense. Ooh, ooh. Oh, look at us just tugging at the radar chart. Oh my gosh, that's interesting. <laughs> if I wanted to just tank, I could do that. Hmm. All right, so actually don't, I don't know what to do. Do I want to go to talk to Wilma and get more points? That sounds really good. I want a dragon to Cabadon me so hard there's a crater where his fist is right next to my head. Well, that sounds like an art idea for you. An oi, big same, big same, high five. <laughs> Rick, how has your night been? You've been grinding more? I need to find more time to grind in Street Fighter 6. I'm gonna try and do that during my lunch break tomorrow. So I'm mostly on my main guy. I'm using Southpaw, which is going to be mostly melee attack and melee defense. This is almost like I'm finally ready to specialize into a certain type of creature. So if I'm just mostly doing like melee attack and melee defense, I don't really care about ranged attack or ranged defense. What else can we put? I don't really want to lose any health, TBQH. So yeah, like having like 120 in all of these and then making sure my speed was about the same. So we could try something like this where I care a little bit less about ranged. Uh, the thing is, range defense, there's a lot of very scary ranged attacks, like fucking Torrent. Torrent, which was wrecking me earlier, before I would have less ranged attack. I just don't care about ranged defense. Or sorry, I don't care about ranged attack. I want to focus purely on, like, melee. I don't want to, like, lose too much ranged defense, but... So let's go look at, like, what extra points we can do. What a workout! Hello. So yeah, this is Ranger Wilma. Extra gym point, there it is, whoa! Are they always gonna be one? Are they always gonna be one? Interesting. Hmm. Oh. They are. <laughs> it's Oh, but it's only a single point each time. That's so funny. We can have up to 50. I mean, are there other things that I super duper care about right now? I mean, this is all about getting fusion faster down there, about recording better. There are not always going to be one point. Ooh, so I'm, in, ooh, I'm incentivized to keep spending. I'm not gonna spend everything. I think it'll go down to like 15 because having just like stats is really good. Give me my stats. You think it goes up every five points? Yeah. Oh, so. Hmm. So the cost goes up, but the effect stays the same. You don't think you've done this in your game and you've beaten all the captains? Whoops. <laughs> That's why it's so interesting watching other people play the same game, seeing the choices meta that they do. Where's the pouch capacity upgrade? Oh, well, the thing is, that's just purely based on how many friends are in chat. The more friends are around me, the deeper my pouch goes, because I need to fit everybody. I need to look down and just see all of chat, really. Yeah, I've been wanting to do the gym stuff uh, since I saw it on the left side. Hmm. Just see. <laughs> hmm. No, I, I, I parsed that eventually to Danko, but I still appreciate you mentioning it. 
I don't think I'm gonna buy any more right now. I do want more respools, and I want more rewinds, because those are the two most important things that I'm running about. I'll leave it at seven for now. We still got more points, though, to spend. I appreciate that it always shows me where the baseline was. Macro Kangi holding all his friends in the pouch. Now that's a great art piece idea. Okay, so I took away all the ranged attack. I gave myself uh, more melee attack, melee defense, and I gave myself more health. So I'm gonna try that out for now. This also means I need to not use Kuneko on at least my main creature. So I'm gonna swap tape. There we go. Southpaw life. Southpaw life. It just makes sense that he would use Kaneko, but using Fungo is what's actually going to give him better stats. But I just want to use Kaneko. I just want this, this party comp right now. So I think I'll just keep it. Uh, Let's see. What cost dogs are active? What are you... Oh, the signpost? I want to do the signpost right now. I want to try and find Captain Wallace. Is he the first boy? <laughs> oh, the other one is definitely a Archangel, because it said Rumbling Underground. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ranger Outpost. I'm going to sip my tea. Mm. Cartoon style? With me at the desk, you pull up in the pouch, look down. It's just a big theater with smartphones. Is the screen watching to play a bunch of tiny friends? That's so good. I'm taking a picture of this comment. That's such a cute idea. All right, let's go into the PRF. Do, 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 do. Go in the comment section. There we go. Arnie, hi. How's your night going? I hope it's very rat for you. So I've already explored this uh, entire zone. This is where you found Meredith up here. Do 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 do. I mean, I have so many more like exploration mechanics than I did before, so I can really zoomies through this entire area. Yeah, he ran away from me. <laughs> uh, have I fought this individual before? Oh, don't let your dreams be dreams. Oh yeah, I've been in here. This is a gigantic area that they want you to explore. I'm assuming it'll be very obvious whenever you actually see them. Oh, yeah. I remember this place. Oh, you just walked into me. <laughs> You're only level five, though. I'm going to run. It's going pretty well. God, I love to hear that. So what do these do? I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm trying to get these boxes up there. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, perfect. This is much easier with this. All right, so I have one on you. Uh, where are the other ones? The other switches that I need? Isn't there more than one? Not that I remember where it is. Oh, no, it's already unlocked. Never mind. Ha ha. Got the vine ball is so good. Just climbing and rolling around. You can tell this is an early game chest. <laughs> <laughs> have I fought these two people? Oh, not that one. Your husband and you have been stuck here since 2160? That's forever. A oh, level 24, yeah. Oh, Musketeer! I like them. I, I feel like I have to jump to different sides of the screen based on what's happening. Uh, Sharpen superheated fist on you. I'm gonna beat you up. I don't know if you've seen, Arnie, this rat critter in this game. If there's more than one rat creature, I don't know. But this one's a very cute one. Honestly, I like them more than the uh, than like the evolution form that they have. Uh, I think I'm going to multi-smack you. And this should take you out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that's really good. We got the, the critter, the human under them as well. Ooh, that was a nice crit. You didn't kill the human. Oh, we got them! Ba, 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 ba. If you breathe on it, your, your warranty is void. It dissolves. No, I love breathing. No one here seems to know about the three seashells. How barbaric. 
I haven't thought about the three, three, the three C shells in a long time. Wait, is that a switch? It is. I remember hitting that one though. Can I? I don't think I can make this one. It'll be too high, right? Just ever. Oh, it wasn't. Whoa. Okay, cool. Wait, that was called Heroic Blade? What was Heroic Blade? That just sounds cool and I want to look at it. Hits one target. Okay. You know what else I can hit? I can hit the ears of chat with a little ASMR for Gyoju. Oh my god, Gyoju. I think you're the heroic one. Always first in stream. Always the one to hit the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 recap. You're always on top of it. And I appreciate it. Rawr. <laughs> Whoa, a future person. How's the iPhone? 29283? Yeah. I think it actually became the U phone after uh, the 3000 series. Because they just they just put them inside of you at that point. It's just chip-based technology. Alright, I don't think you're a captain, but I'm gonna go talk to you. You seen some bulletinos around here? Yeah, 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 yeah. I already got it, don't worry. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's all the puzzle a different way. Uh, I'm just kinda gonna comb through this entire area. It's a huge spot to look for these captains. Did I even pick this one up? This looks interesting. Okay. Oh, whoops. Newcomer, heed not the heathens of Harmer Town. Okay. I mean, I would just lift in a big rock. Aren't you afraid? Aren't you scared? I think you should be. Hmm. Yeah, I'll get Toxic Stab next turn if I do this. That's good. Time for you to dip out. Have a good rest of your stream, Kelif. Yeah, Red, have a good night. I hope things improve for you, whatever's happening. Kelif the Pog lift. D-A the best day. Hi, how are you doing tonight? Squish the micro only very gently and teasingly, but never intentionally. Uh, let's see, yeah, I can multi-smack here. That'll be really good, and then toxic stab. These both should kill together. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's gonna like, kill alone. Oh, it did, Lamau. We chillin', we chillin'. Yeah, I'm trying to find more uh, of like the captains in this game. Heretics control Harbor Town, but where they're false salvation? Bruh, my saves are real! Is this gonna work? Is this a thing? Should I put this rock here? This feels like a thing I'm supposed to do, but it, it feels like one rock is also missing. Is there another rock around here? Hmm. Oh, does he talk about it, actually? The ground around here trembles all the time, as if a huge beast rushes towards a tunnel below our feet. The rocks here are in a strange pattern, huh? Mm-hmm. Dominoth is gonna push the rocks around and break things. Okay. I'm gonna look for another rock to try and bring over there. I don't see one. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Hello? Hmm. I'm kind of getting out of range of the puzzle. Kellef, can I banish Riz into the depths of my pouch? Okay, Riz, it's time. It's time for you to accept your fate. Oh, sorry, we should be zooming in on this part of me. Okay, here's the camera angle. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. <laughs> the screen goes dark and Riz is never heard from again. This has been a campfire scary story. So that happened in the GDQ run you watched? They say it was rare. They don't know why it happens that there's two rocks. Oh, so rocks are actually gone and they're supposed to be there? Oh, I'll take the chest. Pity AP. These are gains one AP each time an attack of theirs misses. It's actually really funny. Look at this cutie, Rue. I am professionally adorable. I'm very soft and round. Oh, two instead of one missing. Oh, I get what you're saying. The dandelion's so cute, I love them. And I'm leaving. Now I have to add a chance to pull Riz out of a pouch. So it's been on my post-it for a couple days, but I haven't had time to do it. 
where I just want to add a command where people can spend channel points to add to the list of things in my pouch. So I think it's a cute, fun idea, but um, I just haven't coded it yet. You're a professional, adorable. Oh my God, you are. People haven't seen DA in real life. DA is very cute, along with their art, which is also really adorable. All right, I think I should stop looking. I should stop looking for a stupid random rock. I should start looking again for the trainer over here. I mean, if I find a rock, I can go back. Do, 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 do. Wait, is that a rock in the water? Uh, Well, they are, just not pick upable rocks. More rocks I can't pick up. So sad. All right. Yeah, we're going to go back. <laughs> we're going to go back to looking for what's probably the first trainer who I still can't find. Hmm. We're getting back to where I started with this little adventure. <laughs> oh, camera? I'm pretty sure I fully explored in that cave. Pretty sure I already did that. Can we banish Gyoji to the quantum realm? No, what'd they do? Cause like, who's in here? Oh, is there, wait, does this respawn too? Oh, I feel like it does. I was ambushed by a spring heel hiding in a corner. Yeah, that's happened to me. Zzz, 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 zzz. <laughs> How many people in chat just sleep face down? So I've reloaded uh, the map, so maybe that rock will be there properly this time. Let's see, we already talked to you, we already fought you. You want this? I could have sworn I, oh, I talked to him before I became a ranger. Oh, oh okay, I didn't remember that. Because I checked him off my mental list because like, I'd already talked to him. Oh. Yantha says you're a promising fighter. I suppose you want to take my ranger challenge. Sure, I'll fight you. <laughs> Hope your training is a strong foundation. You're gonna need to be tough if you want to bring down my walls. Well, the thing is, it's okay, Wallace. You can pull down your emotional walls. We can talk about feelings here. This is a safe space. Don't worry, man. All right, so this is probably the first ranger captain, right? <laughs> Level 30. Uh, oh, this is perfect. I can broadcast and then do superheated fist. Uh, so they're gonna have another critter. I think I'll sharpen, this'll just be a setup turn. There's stuff in the fridge. I feel like every fridge I check is empty. Well, except for one, I've seen one. You need to go out, do a snooze, have a good time. Yeah, Dio, have a great night. Wallace is a bratty bottom, <laughs> confirm. Okay, so they're gonna put up, they put up the plastic wall. My idea is still a really good idea. So I'm gonna multi-smack you, and I'm gonna superheated fist, which is gonna hit both of them and break the wall. Aw, oh, nice, we got him. All right, so break that down. Perfect. Oh, I have never tried that. Oh, sad. I've never tried fire in a plastic wall. It just turned it to poison instead. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Uh, I think I'm gonna save it for toxic stab just by smacking. I'm not too worried about the water coating here. I, I knew that would happen, <laughs> but I'm still not worried. It's gonna be fine. Uh, yeah, so you are super duper dead, and hopefully I get a kill. Uh huh. On your human form. Toxic stab. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Nice one. Nice one. Oh, five star Selpa! Oh, the old one too. I have that on another critter. It's a good move. I built on my walls, and you brought them right down. Nice work. nice work, you earned this. Hey, I did it. <laughs> I finally found the first trainer. I looked around so long for you, I'm sorry. Elemental wall rare. So priority, oh, per empty slot, plus one duration. 18% chance to use at the end of the round. The plus one duration is really good. I don't use walls too much. They would probably help me. I stumbled across that rare material while surveying the park for a building project. 
You can swap it down for neat stuff. Hey, thanks. <laughs> Finally found him. Uh, hi, let's go see if that rock puzzle is working correctly. Going in and out of uh, Iantha's ranger building should have reset that. Ah! There's a spring heal. God, I love the, zo the zoomies. Well, I killed him. <laughs> is this a good way to grind just one-shotting enemies? Yeah, I got an achievement for that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! No, it still remembered my rock placement. Do I have to rest? I think I have to rest for it. You feel like most people just forget to check back with him as the first captain? There's just so much cool stuff to do. Okay, so we either have to find an incredibly far away rock or actually properly reload that space. Oh my god, I found a really far away rock. Perfect. Thank you, video game, for knowing exactly what I wanted. Okay, I'm going back. <laughs> zoom, zoom. Okay, perfect. So this should work, right? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Oh. oh, it's really big. Yet another ancient train station. Something must have happened to cause these to emerge recently, right? Smory, hi, Smory. I lurked while you were playing Paradise Killers earlier. I hope you had fun. I've still never tried the game, but the soundtrack is really cool. The aesthetic is cool. Uh, I think everything about that game looks interesting. Okay. Oh, do I need the boxes here? I think I need the boxes here. This is probably supposed to be like the second train station you find then, because it's really close by. Thanks for the lurk. It's really neat. A lot of reading. I like reading. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I thought I had to go get the other box. But that works too. Yeah, this is a really neat camera thing. Uh, I think Tunic probably did the sort of uh, camera turn for secret stuff best out of everything I've seen, but this is really neat too. Oh, red. Oh, I've never seen that symbol before. It's like scrap wire. Can I break this open? Yes, that felt satisfying. Should I drink more water for all that reading out loud? For a long time, I was like really bad at hydrating during stream for like no gosh darn good reason, but I'm really good at it now, thankfully. Yeah, that's definitely on my list of games to play like everything else in the world. Oh, I've had those critters before, they're fun. Oh. Is that, do I have to hold it down? I do have to hold it down. So we need a box. Wait. Oh, I got up here. Does it mean anything? No, but I just wanted to prove to myself that I could. <laughs> okay. Wait. Oh, wait. I wonder if I could just float down to the platform on the left side. Oh, I didn't even see you back there. Burnus, you look so cool. Burnus, hi. Oh my God, you're gonna join my team. Uh... All right, so I'm just going to try and hit the Fossetier out of here, same with you, and then we're gonna catch the Burnus next round. Oh no. Oh, it didn't kill. I was so nervous about that. Okay. I'm gonna record you. All right, so multi smack almost guaranteed. Uh, chrome tape's always amazing. Let's go. Recording. Yeah, good job tanking level 10. I'm 42 and you didn't die from a smack. I love that for me and for you. Oh, 100% chance. Oh, don't guzzle me. Save that for after stream. Burnus. Burnuses have no legs, can only move by sliding their heavy concrete bodies along the grounds with their hands. Their endlessly burning internal furnaces allow to emit flames and toxic smogs from their chimneys at a moment's notice. You're so cute. Whoa, look at this stat weight right here. No speed. Oh, but they are very tanky, actually. Look at that range defense, melee defense, coal story. Hits one target, inflicts spurred. Damage based on speed if higher. Okay. Interesting. 
chimney? Yeah, what is it if it's not a chimney? After stream guzzle sash. Yeah, just enter my DMs if anybody wants to guzzle together, okay? Yeah, I've never seen that critter before. That was really cute. Okay, I'm gonna try and cheese this just for fun. Okay. So, stamina full. We're gonna fly to the lower left just because of... I want to. Oh, perfect! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I don't even need a box! <laughs> Ayo. Ayo. Alright, cool. <laughs> Alright, that was fun. Uh, Gonna completely avoid these puzzles? <laughs> I wonder if this speedrun does stuff like this too. Because all you have to do to get these powers is just to record a critter. And if you can get your way to those critter spots, then you already have the powers. Oh, I didn't even need this one. <laughs> I didn't even need that one. Okay, he's just spinning though. Yeah, this power seems really good for exploring places you're not supposed to go. Speed gaming. Uh -uh. Is something supposed to sit here and this way it looks like that? Can you bring a box anywhere near here? I don't know if you can. Uh, I guess we just open it? Yeah, there's no like boxes in here. Okay, I was expecting a fight. Oh, Wing Gloom! I saw you so much later in the game. You could have seen one right here. I'm literally just gonna try and bully you. I don't care if I give you multi-target because you should die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jove. Hi. Dropping to say hi before I go to bed. Jove, I saw that you were in like in depth conversations with people in VR. I stopped by for a little bit just to like peek on in, and I'm like, I could contribute, but it looks like they're having fun. I just ran around. It looked like he had a great time chatting with people there. Oh, the machine part. Perfect. Galactic Beatdown Uncommon. Hits one target, cannot be evaded. Critical hit on type advantage. That's interesting. That could be really good. All right, now we leave. It was super fun. Want to say hi, but couldn't find you later on. Uh, have you been to the quote unquote secret room on that map? I don't know if I've ever been there with you. Um, Cause we haven't been on that map in a while. We've been usually going on this different one, but that one does have a secret room. So that might be why you couldn't have found me. All right, here we go. Remove from inventory machine part. Train ticket. An old ticket with Glowchester printed on it in faded ink. You heard people in it, but you didn't go in. Yeah, there's like a, there's like a little cube on the second floor and a bookshelf that you can click on that map and it takes you a little secret room. Uh, I don't need to like heal or anything, right? Because we're probably going to do an Archangel, like, right now. That's going to heal up. Yes, yeah, that one, yeah. <laughs> Train ticket used. But yeah, thanks for stopping by and saying hi. I appreciate it. And yeah, I'm glad you had a good time. I always like when my friends have good times in VR. Oh man, what's that noise? Is it targling? Is somebody targling in the distance? I don't mean, like, a noise you can hear. It's like something wrong with the air. This place feels really bad to be in. Let's go. Is the Archangel also going to be like level 10? Or do they scale up more? Are they going to be like 30? Whoa, you're so creepy! I've never seen anything like this. What's going on, Kellef? Why does it look like that? This must be an Archangel. Are you more toys for my collection? I desire more play things. You can only play with me if you guzzle my fuel. Hmm. I don't know if this guy has our best interest at heart. Yeah, he does have a looker emoji face. <laughs> you two will make a fine pair of glove puppets. Don't make me your, don't, don't stick your hand up there. Rare dialogue for bringing the late game recruit to an early game area. So true, yeah. Oh, I love this art style on him, whoa. Pop of, is it Papa Talks? Interesting. Look, I love how every one of these Archangels has such a different style to make them stand out and feel weird and foreign to this world. 
Um, so we're not really close to a fusion bar, so I'm not going to be relying on that. Um, I'm going to be sharpening. You're going to be broadcasting because I feel like there might be some... I feel like there's going to be team member things happening on the enemies because it looks like it's going to be rotating with the spotlight. So I'm going to initially apply broadcast. It might be a bad idea, but we'll see how it goes. Archangel Papa Talk switch places. Oh, so it's more of a going in and out as opposed to a team. Sharpen. Definitely one of the most interesting Archangels. Yeah, it's really neat. Okay, 32 damage. AP steal? Okay, good at miss. Also, I hit zero. <laughs> hmm. Ooh, I can hit these. So this is good. So I have Metal Riff, which can hit a whole team. It becomes an air. The typing doesn't matter on Archangels, really. And then I'll do Superheated Fist, which will hit everything because of broadcast. Yeah, the EV switch places. I'm hitting everybody still, my guy. Oh, the spotlight just tells you where to go. That is an interesting mechanic. Effigy? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I get it now. I get it now. <laughs> Don't hit his party members. I get it. Okay. That's so funny. <laughs> I literally played myself. I played myself. He played a little sneaky one on me. That's great. Honestly, this is the type of punishment I want to receive in games. A clear showing that I did not understand what I was supposed to do. A bamboozling of my feelings. So we're not going to fuse. Um, Galagor is a really good single target hitter, and he's also very tanky. I'm going to switch into him. Okay, cool. <laughs> I, I understand the mechanic. I know the assignment now. Oh, you have the old one too? It's a really good ability. Trap. Okay, so it's just speed down. He's really, he, oh, he still has multi-target on. He still has multi-target on. So he's gonna get everybody hit. Mm. So Effigy is gonna trigger because of multi-target. I think I'm just gonna throw out a heal here on them because I think they'll die otherwise. And I have plenty of these to go around, so I don't mind making this decision. Um, so we're, we're really high health and I know Effigy is going to trigger. I think I'm just going to, where is it? Uh, yeah, there we go, deja vu. I want the multi-strength to prevent the multi-target from happening. So I can double up on the boss next turn. Waiting for Triangle Dude to show up? Yeah, he will! That'll also be rare dialogue, right? Because it got here so late. Hi again, Glora Fox. I'm sorry you couldn't sleep, but it's nice to see you. All right, we're gonna do this correctly. This is the turn where he's gonna do a special attack, but I'm incredibly higher leveled, so it should be fine. Uh, I'm gonna shield bash. Should I shield bash? So this will double up because of multi-strike, and that'll be 120 damage compared to 90, so yes. Okay. Should be a lot of damage on both parties. Feedback. That was a cool looking attack. Whoa, it did so much damage too. Oh, they flinched, oh no. Okay, we're just gonna heal Kellef after this. Okay, I don't have to. Okay. So that was their big special attack. Oh, this means I can double up on Shield Bash instead. So I'm actually totally cool with this. I think the double up on Shield Bash is probably going to kill because there's a lot of damage, but we're just gonna safety switch instead of... It wasn't Kellef's turn? I thought it was Kellef's turn. Wait, I thought it was on... Did Kellis' turn get switched? Oh, the flinch, the flinch messed up my whole brain. The flinch messed up my whole brain. I thought it was on them. I thought it was on the Southpaw. Well, my bad. Hmm, this is fine. We're still gonna go for it, why not? So on the spotlight, uh, I'm not postural bombing. <laughs> I know that's a bad idea.
All right, come on, double up on the inflame kill. Oh, I didn't even need the double. Victory! Ba, 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 ba. Southpaw's only fair weakness is a lack of good range defense. Yeah. And like to be fair, if they had good range defense, they'd probably be too strong. We did it! Your stamina increased by 10%! <gasps> we got the next part of the song. If you wish to leave this land, then heed my words and hear my song. You must rise to the task at hand. You must walk the path most long. To the west, your wings must fly to the place only I have known. For that is where my chambers lie, halls now empty and alone. Venture there and head southbound where your wayward pass shall meet. A place where lost men have been drowned, where mud lies think beneath your feet. Okay. Yeah, still more song. I was wondering. I'm curious how many archangels there are. Hmm. So, a triangle dude did show up. My dolls, you killed my dolls. Nice to meet you, my hatted friend. Are you looking for a new line of work? Let's talk. Hmm. You and I. We should have a proper talk sometime. Okay. You defend on yours for extra melee defense? Oh, that's a great idea. Did he make dolls of us? I don't think I'll sleep easy after that fight, that's for sure. Oh. Hey, what the triangle guy mean when he said he wanted to have a proper talk with you? He sounds civil, but I don't really trust him. Anyway, that weird mirror your clue leads you to. Have you figured out what it does yet? I'm sure that answer will turn up eventually. Hey, do you want to head out then? You said you heard a rumor about something happened in the marsh. That could be your next destination if you want. This area is still pretty high level, right? Isn't it like mid 40s? I mean, I guess that's me now. So what other side quests could we focus on? So that's still like new area, new area. I was trying to clear out like any old stuff. Wow, we did. We actually cleared out all the old stuff. I should have rested. Yeah, I should have rested. Because I'm still going to be hurt, right? Oh, never mind. Cool, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's get some shopping happening. All right, rewinds. Love to see it. Uh, Respools, so good. Okay, nice. <laughs> Au revoir. The game loads too fast to have loading screen. He's right there. My dude is just right there in the middle of town. Hey. Hello, Kella. Sorry. Sorry, is this too loud? Maybe this is a little easier for you. I thought we could pencil in a quick meeting. Only I can use pencils. Don't heal during battle with pencils. Hey. Hey, it's a bit worrying. Who are you? Where are my manners? Should I introduce myself? Are you an archangel? Archangel? Is that what you call us? How delightful. As for me personally, I've been called many things by your kind. Arthur, Alexander, Agamemnon. Alas. Alas, I am Aleph. You can call me Al. Hi, Al. Huh? Nice to meet you. Hmm. I've been preoccupied for some old time, for some time by an old friend. Fortunately, that situation has been resolved for now. I return to find out this world has gathered more of my people, more archangels. These are exciting times indeed, friends. The newcomers are wild and unfocused, but I see much potential in them. Yeah, you're gathering them. I must ask that you don't attempt to intervene in my team building exercise. In fact, I must request that you cease searching for my peers entirely. But I have to find them to be able to leave. Oh, you just want to leave? Can they do that? Yeah, I can send you away from here. The only thing I can't warp is me. A mirror does not reflect itself. Caliph? So be it. I shall grant your wish. Please don't come back. Really, I 
mean it. Not what you wanted. Achievement unlocked. It's true. It's not what I wanted. This is how the game started. Are we actually going back? I don't want that. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Oh, look at that map, though. There's nothing. Oh, Felix is with me? Did they get ported in? We got yoinked! We got exclamation point yoinked. Yeah, so uh, I didn't change the level scaling. I'm 46, and that one we just fought was like 22. Ooh. I, I was worried I got soft locked. <laughs> I don't have my abilities here. It isn't the same world then. Can I read this? I can't read this. I don't even recognize the language. I got thrown somewhere else. This isn't my place. Oh, I can at least jump. Okay. Sadly, you can't double jump in this world. Oh, I can kick the rock, though. Okay, this world's not so bad. That's just a big sword. This is a world of, like, giants? Well, they know him here. There's graffiti of him here. Hey, sugar. Mysterious woman. You're looking pretty lost there, stranger. You need a place to stay. Huh. Okay. Big men and tiny cars. <laughs> You're looking, I found you when I did, sweetheart. Call me Ms. Amber. I'm the face of the Amber Lodge. You're mighty lucky. The Amber Lodge doesn't pass through these dead worlds often. Please make yourself at home. Have yourself a look around. We're traveling right now. Don't go anywhere just yet. Okay. The Amber Lodge. Hold up, what? <laughs> Imagine if this time you learn you're only halfway through the game. I should talk to everybody. Stern faced man. The Amber Lodge is really one of a kind. Oh, I want to go back there. <laughs> Is this your first time at the Amber Lodge as the friendly individual? Yeah. I definitely did not think these were floating lights. I thought they were floating lipsticks. Miss Amber knows how to run this joint. He was so relaxed. Okay, well, I see Triangle Man. Oh. A simpler time. So they all used to worship him. And the, the Archangel to his right is the first one we saw. And I don't think we've seen the person two to their right. But we haven't found all the archangels. Do you know Aleph? Well. He and I were like family once back in the good old days. There was a whole gang of us. We had some mighty fine times together, let me tell you. Aleph was like the leader, of course he was. That's his whole shtick, ain't it? But me? I was the ride. And Morgante, that's them, was the keeper of the door. But sometimes folks just grow apart. Sometimes it gets messy at the end. It sometimes gets messy in the beginning, too. I left all that behind. Mm. I'm sure Aleph is still trying to find his ticket off that island even now. No way the old witch will tell him how, of course. So they're not friends. <laughs> I don't want to bore you with this. The old girl's tales of days gone by. Are you an archangel? Mm -hmm. Me? Why, I told you, Kella. I'm just the face of the establishment. Everyone else is gone. Aw, oh, fuck, I went to the end before I explored everything. Dang it. The Amber Lodge is the real attraction. Not to mention, you'd know all about walking around wearing an avatar, wouldn't you? Oh, how'd you know I VTube? Oh my gosh, whoa, do you watch? Don't worry, I won't tell. Now, I'm guessing you're stranded on that rock because Aleph warped you away, right? Yeah. And before that, you were on New World. Yeah. The island is like a fly trap. Folks just slip through the cracks, end up there. Mighty unlucky of you, sugar. But as for the business with a triangle headed friend, it ain't your fault you got caught up in her old mess. I'll give you a ride just this once. Follow me. 
Is this gonna go to the mirror in the Deadlands that I found? Interesting. Moral of this, never trust someone just to teleport you home simply to get rid of you. I, I, I could have sworn it would have worked out emotionally. Yeah, she is really pretty. Where that is, however, it's not up to me. Step through when you're ready? Okay. Interesting. Do you have different dialogue now that it happened? You do not. Okay. So we didn't walk over to the right. Who are you, friend? Red-cheeked woman. I'd stay here forever if I could. What happens if I try and leave? The door is locked. Void Lord, hi. The mirror will take you where you need to go. Where that is, it's not up to me. Step through when you're ready. I'm taking this barrel as a souvenir. It doesn't work. You can have it back. <laughs> take care. Take care, sugar. It was mighty fine meeting you. Do me a favor. Let's not tell our friend Al about me helping you out, shall we? No, it didn't. For a moment, I wasn't sure if I'd be seeing you again. All my friends! If I'm understanding this right, this Triangle Man, Aleph, is an old archangel who's been stuck on New World like the rest of us. Uh... And you were saved by a stranger after the Triangle bloke sent to another world something that he can do for others but not himself? Yeah, you about sums it up. <sighs> we don't know what this guy is planning, do we? It sounds like he has an agenda. All right. One that involves finding other archangels? Oh. Uh, I guess my question is, what do you want to do about this guy? He's clearly up to something, but all this stuff might be a bit above our pay grade. We can keep an eye on him. <laughs> I like this plan. That's cute that they all go back to their places. <laughs> Good, I've been the best partner already. There's so many cute partners though, it's hard. Also, I've been high. Uh, I'm curious. So it was over, it was in the Deadlands, right? So Deadlands. I could have sworn it was over here. Maybe it was over here. Where was the mirror we found? Wasn't it in like this area in the Deadlands? I thought it was. There's not a spot on the map that talks about it. Yeah, because Penny Dreadful was right there and wasn't it to her right? Because it wasn't like a graveyard, right? I don't know if that ties to the place we just were, but it's the only mirror that I can think about. And now that are like when we found it, the characters didn't talk about it at all, aside from, wow, that's weird. Uh, so now that we know what it does, I wonder. I'm just gonna try and go that way. Think about it. There's a lot of effort uh, on wanting to send exactly the right place in the time in the universe. If you want to get rid of all of them, this is true. Yeah, it's a difficult task. You thought the mirror was more west? Oh, I don't know then. Where was the mirror that we found? Oh, is it like down over here? There's a question mark right there. It might have been that. Oh, it was the bot. Oh, it was this graveyard. I was mixing up the where we fought Penny Dreadful, which is kind of like a graveyard, and this graveyard. Oh yeah, it was so high level, I didn't actually do this one yet. <laughs> Alright, so that's a trainer. They look like a ghost, I don't want to fight them. I just want to experience the mirror, which is over here. How did I trigger the mirror? Oh, I heard you're so angry. Because this is exactly where it was. Oh, oh, I think he de -aggred. Did I just like touch this? There we go, okay. A mirror? I wonder if this is like it is in the Amber Lodge. Cool. Okay. It does go back. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Night Bridges Station. Okay. What? I don't know what I expected to find here, but I don't think it was this, huh? <gasps> I don't think I'm supposed to be here. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Heed my words? 
Oh, solve the riddle of Morgante's song? <laughs> I haven't even got the song yet. What happens? They're going to be like level 70 or what the fuck ever, right? I, I'm just going to walk forward, I guess. Sure. I, I would just assume this is where Triangle Man lives. And I just accidentally found it. Hmm. This... This must be it, right? The place you're searching for? Let's look around. Okay. Sure. Oh! Oh, we have actually a teleport here? That's sick. Hell yeah. You finally arrived. Welcome to Nightbridge's station. The train arriving at Platform P is due to repart to other realities soon. You should make sure you catch it in time. What can I do for you? None of these dialogue options are new. You want me to go check? No, it's fine. <laughs> if I... Oh. If I shouldn't be here, I'll, I'll leave. Like, if the enemies are just going to be, like, level 60 or 70, I'll go. So, you need some type of, like, gem to put in these? Oh. Sorry. What level are these dudes going to be? What do you think, chat? I have no idea. Oh, yeah, you need the, uh, that type of thing to do that. Okay, I fell. <laughs> I need that specific cube type. I'm so nervous! I don't want to fight you! Oh! Okay, so they're, they're 50 to 53 here. <laughs> Interesting. Where the mirror is and how to make it appear oh, are different per game. Oh, yours is at the fire shrine. That's so interesting. Yours is at the ranger house. Yours on a tree stump that doesn't exist in your world and you use a specific power. Whoa. So I just accidentally found the mirror in my game. Lamau. <laughs> That's so funny. Also, this is a terrible team that I have on right now to do this fight. Fountis. I haven't even seen the evolution of this critter yet. Uh, I definitely have to switch out here. Uh, so lightning would be a really good choice here. Mm, I guess I'll I guess I'll podcast. That's so interesting. Yeah, we already have the uh, the broadcast on them, which is really good. Conducted, hell yeah. So we're about to do a lot of damage here. Hits one target. Uh, this is fine. This is a really good move. This would be 90 damage to both of them. And then, yeah, we'll do this. Will that be healing steam? We don't want that. <laughs> uh, I'll wait for the toxic stab. I think I'll live through one more. Boil! Never mind. Oh, boil's so good. Yeah, you got me. You double boiled me. Heck a doodle. Ooh. All right, that was a really good attack right there, at least. Oh my god, Lance, hi! But, uh... Rawr, rawr. Lance, I was actually silently lurking during your stream while I was making dinner because somebody told me about the, the wad that you were playing. That's like the Doom house. And I was watching a little bit and I'm like, Shh. so and I actually stopped watching because I'm like, this is so interesting. I kind of want to play the Doom wad about the house. But yeah, I hope you're doing good. Thanks for rating in. Hi, uh, I currently accidentally found essentially like a final end game area that you're supposed to fight a bunch of archangels and hope to solve a puzzle. I just accidentally found a puzzle and we just went in. And this is my first fight in the new area where people are like 11 levels higher than me. So that's why one of my characters died already. You should flat out play it, no cap. <laughs> Am I getting stomped? I sure am. You'd be glued to the screen if you played my house. Bro, I'd have to, like, play a single Doom that's not, like, Doom 2016, which is the only Doom I've played, not counting Doom Eternal, so... I feel like I'd have to know anything about that game. My house is a mind frick. I want to experience, now that I sort of lurked in Lance's stream for a little bit, I saw the part where... Well, I guess anything could be a spoiler, so never mind. I also hate Torrent. It's so much fucking damage. <laughs> and Boil? Well, I mean, I use Toxic Stab, so I shouldn't talk. Calif, it's no joke an Outer Wilds experience in terms of your first playthrough. Whoa! 
it lends itself to taking notes. Oh, good, which is my whole thing, it is. Did you need to go that working out is a JoJo reference? Yeah, how would you gonna need a big sexy body? Oh, it's called Cardio. I don't wanna be Southpaw. Uh, Mia's Modius is a fine choice. No one's really great here. I guess Fungo because water will trigger a healing stream, right? Okay. Um. Oh, this is gonna be a really good damage as long as I don't die. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna die, I think. Cause you don't have enough damage to do boil again on both of you. Get the kill, get the kill. Oh, I did leech them. So plant type attack, sap and leech the strength of water type targets. That is awesome. Oh, cause the conductive. Oh, I'm definitely getting the kill. Whoa, you almost killed all your own, hot damn. All right, nice. This just looks like fun Pokemon. It's really cool. Um, you just kind of explore a giant open world with like stamina mechanics. You just have a great time. Wow, I got so much EXP here. Holy shit. So, oh, Hurricane hits a whole team, destroys walls. Throw, use a wall as a projectile. Remaining duration multiplies damage. That's really interesting. Oh, Mia's Modi's got headshot. I love headshot. Be random. Well, uh, Raiden, you're just clicking all around the stream. You're hitting random too. You hit the follow button. Whoa, hi. Mama Wolf, hi. Happy Pride Month. Yeah, happy Pride Month to you and everyone in chat. Oh, I know the music is so good. And the critters, the critters are so cute. Okay. So yeah, it's really dangerous to be here, but I guess you could just beat the game and not fight all the archangels, but that's no fun. But also it is fun exploring these zones. I'm not gonna res, oh, I should res Kaneko. I was gonna say not yet, but I do want to. There we are. Uh, let's see, party. I know Southpaw, Southpaw. Oh, Raiders, do you know Southpaw? Uh, are you a fan? I can just do it like this, it's easier. Check the tape. Look at the Southpaw, look at how cute they are. They're so good. They're so adorable. Furry bait. Oh, I love them. Love them. Hi, I'm cute. Thank you. Thank you for knowing that I'm cute. Oh, Maze, I was going to read your message, and then all that stuff just happened. So I'm scrolling up. Do, 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 do. Oh, my God. It was so far away. You always wanted to tell me this, Calif? Ugh. I think your ears are cute. They are. They're really adorable. <laughs> oh, you had the Danko? I bet you were like, what the fuck, Calif? You just found the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> For people who know this game, I'm sure you were like, I can't believe this son of a bitch. That's great. <laughs> Cuteness overload. There's another area I think you have to visit before I think you can do the end game. Interesting. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. This party comp sucks for what I want to do. Um, so I want to swap here, swap there. If I happen to get into another fight here... I know what you are. Okay. Ha 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 ha. I don't want to do any fights here. It's so scary. Okay. <laughs> oh, I tried to dash away. Oh, I hit you actually. This sucks, this sucks, this sucks. It's also cool, but it sucks. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Uh. This is not good. This is not good. You found the best troll song request? An hour of silence broken over the first four notes of Megalovania. You can also just do like the hour of silence with like the dropping pipe sound. It just goes mm. Nine percent chance to flee. I could fuse here. I could live. This is this is not good. I'm gonna get destroyed by these guys. Uh, the thing is, Southpaw's actually good here. Oh, occasional thwomp noises? Now that's cute. Uh, oh, honestly, Galagor? Galagor's really good here. All right. Sorry for having terrible team members of the star just wasting a turn. Oh, you beast walled? Nothing's good against beast. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna ignore you. <laughs> I'm going to make this guy aggro. 
Um, should I multi strike? Is it worth doing? Or should I just. I think I'm just gonna spam shield bash, to be honest. Okay, didn't die. Okay, we got a four. It wasn't a five, but it was more than a three. Okay. So we can kill on him. Shield Bast and Broadcast? Oh, I know, it's a great combo. I don't wanna have to fuse. I can multi-smack, destroy this wall, and I can guarantee kill on the Shield Bash, and hopefully Southpaw doesn't die. Oh, you gambited, that's so scary. All oh, the Confuse! Okay, thank God. Even though they were confused, they still got it off. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, with Gambit on, I'm, I should probably heal. I think I should probably throw a heal out. These are so cheap and I'm nervous. I'm really nervous about the confuse. I'm gonna use the wrong move or target the wrong character. I think I'm just gonna smack. Life absorb? How much does that heal? Oh, it's a one-to-one -one ratio? Shit. Okay, we're AP draining them. Have I never done this type before? Astral type attacks drain power from targets of the four elements, uh, fire, earth, air, and water. Is that a grenade? It looks like a holy hand grenade from worms. Yeah, Gambit makes even weak attacks hurt. I'm very scared right now. Like, even though I'm full health, I'm like nervous. Oh! Okay, that was a seven. A seven did half my health because the gambit. Fuck. Okay, so that was because of confusion. I don't care, I don't care. I wanna live, we're rewinding. <laughs> I don't care. I'm taking the gamble. That was full health. That was a 381 hit. Calif almost died after that. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Now that was scary. Oh god, they're all queens now. You have life absorb on your south pot. I wonder if I have life absorb. That's a great ability. I do not. The holy hand grenade of Antioch. <laughs> God. Yeah, Shield Bash on uh, Galagor is so good because he's so tanky. Uh, I just, I'm gonna try really hard to avoid those fights because that's really scary. Oh, Chap, hi! Oh, you're a Fortnite gamer. I didn't know you were a Fortnite gamer. Whoa, Yopo, hi, Yopo, toot toot. Um, well, if anyone here in chat doesn't know me, uh, hi, my name's Kellef. Uh, I have my own little nameplate in the game. Don't worry. Uh, I'm just, I'm just so cool. Everybody loves Kangi. The, the, the dev said we can just name the main character Calif. You can just put your VTuber right there. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Hi. <laughs> I'll be in fun in your Fort of Night. I still never experienced a Fortnite. Uh, I guess it's technically not true. My old roommate, uh, wanted me to play it before Battle Royale was a thing, and I did the wave defense, and I'm like, that's a neat game. And when Battle Royale came out, I'm like, oh, that's a dumb idea. That'll never catch on. So don't don't take my advice on literally anything, because that's the most wrong a person could be. Oh, today was your first time playing the Fort of Night. I hope it was a good time. But yeah, welcome on in, everybody. Uh, I'm probably going to end soon myself. It's almost Cuddle the Husband time. But we're exploring this dungeon I'm definitely not supposed to be in right now. Oh, hi, Fusky. Fellow Kangi. So if I happen to get into a fight here, which I don't want to, then I would want Galagor, and I I don't even know if Southpaw's a good call here. I guess Kuneko is okay. <sighs> okay. Okay, this is a much easier go. Thank God! Oh, you finished with a victory royale? Heck yeah. Fusky, I think you and I were both in the same uh, ferality instance for the kangaroo meetup. 
Oh, there might be like a boss fight over here. That's a coffin. That's a coffin. Okay. 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 Respool? Southpaw. If we have to fuse, I can fuse. Okay. Inventory? Should I heal anybody before we go over? Why not? Why not? <gasps> I'd say that this is a surprising thing to find here. I don't really know what I expected. <sighs> Hi, Morgante. Mordred, my child, justice shall come to the king in red soon. Oh, Mordred must have been the person two to the right of the triangle in the painting. Hey, are you still level 100? Uh... Oh, Felix didn't see that. Everything okay, Kellef? You were staring into space pretty hard there for a second. Uh-huh. Okay, so not a fight. Not a fight. <laughs> oh, wait, I fell. I love this arrow here of like, bruh, you gotta do it. Suck it up. Oh, yeah, that's definitely their face. Okay. This is a bad idea. Why am I doing this? Oh, they're so sad. They're so sad. Wow. Okay. Is this a good fuse? Hmm debatable. I mean, Galagor is really good. We don't have any high AP moves is the thing. I guess we could just spam Toxic Stab and then try and heal because of the extra defenses. Yeah, screw it. Why not? We've never seen this fusion. It's going to look really dumb. <laughs> never mind. It's great. They got star eyes. Well, I actually love it. Okay. I love the wing arms, love the dress, expected that. Did not expect the starry eyes. <laughs> That's good. That's true, wind very good against fire. Your life absorb is a rare quality, adds 10% damage, critical hit, oh, and reduced range attack. That's wonderful. Yeah, you were the pink and blue kingy. Yeah, I have a photo of you. Your friend was having a rough time. You weren't able to grab a pick. It was cool to meet you, yeah. Oh, thank you, Pepper. That's perfect. Smog Trust looks so sad. They do. All right, so... Oh, damage will absorb the wind. Oh, this is going to lower their attack and their AP generation. Exactly what I want. Oh, why are you so fast? Oh, I berserk. That's okay. I still did damage roll. Thank you, damage roll. <laughs> we extinguished them. I'm so happy. And we AP dream them. Okay, that was a really good turn for us. I don't think this will do much of anything. It'll a it'll cancel out the AP drain, but it will poison them. And it's also 90 damage, which is really good. I don't know if I have a, a better choice than that. That would give healing steam. I don't want that. Oh yeah, so this would be a guaranteed 60 damage and it would make them get worse AP. I think I'm just gonna Toxic Stab and then reapply the AP down next turn. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Guzzle, ooh, this will still hit though, even if that hits. Yeah, 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 four AP, perfect. Plan calculated. Automation incinerate? Is that a counter? Aw, oh, thank you for the wind wall. Oh my god, thank you for the wind wall and the AP boost. You're great. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Um I kind of want to keep damage rolling. It's only a bad idea if I get a one. Uh shooting star is very safe. I can't deja vu because I'm berserk right now. Otherwise, I think that would be a really good idea. Hmm. I'm doing it. Boil. Thank you all. A two. Okay, yeah, my bad. <laughs> oh, give me the wind wall. This is so good. Oh my God, they're forced to automatically keep giving me wind walls. I love this. Oh my God. 
Um, so if I do damage roll, I get one AP more next turn. If I do a two AP attack, that means I can do the special move. I can do the fusion power. So this is worth doing. Aw, oh, you punk. Yeah, I'm gonna be two away again. We're, we're gonna slow but steady win this race. And I'm not gonna feel bad about it. Shooting, oh wait, wait, ba 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 Fusion power. Hits the whole team, gives the target poison status. Is the right idea to wait until they break into parts and then use the fusion power? I think it might be because we don't have good AOE and this is a scary situation that we found ourselves in. So I think I'm just going to do four AP attacks, get that back. They might guzzle my fuel, but whatever, I'll time to build it back up. Um, well, shield bass, which is three, and if they guzzle me, it's minus five, and then I'll only be minus one away. Oh wait, we have the AP up, so yeah. If I do this, I'm guaranteed to always have enough. Even if they guzzle me. Didn't kill. Uh, I'm just gonna do it again, and then next turn, we'll use the team attack on their split parts. At this point, it's a game, no matter how I do it. I know, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. I was really nervous running into this being like 10 levels under leveled. Whoa, we've never seen the evolved version of them. Smog Magog. Oh my God, it's Smog Magog. They're great. <laughs> uh, definitely fusion power time. Tornado shards. Okay, we got the extinguish in, always nice. And poison. Got the poison here too. Good, 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 good. Um. Oh, hi. Oh my God, it's Vadio. You were just chatting. What were you just chatting about? Were you just chatting about how me and my fusion monster here are kind of just in a duel? We're just in a duel fighting against these two other creatures. It's kind of an even fight. Um, and you know, it's it might look a little weird. We have a fusion friend uh, to my left. Uh, who am I fused with? Well, I'm fused with friendship and happiness because that's what streaming brings into my life. <laughs> with proper setups and monsters, levels start becoming suggestions. That is true, and I like how you phrase that. Sheep raid. Hello, everybody. Smog on my gog. <laughs> You're all adorable. Welcome on in. I'll probably uh, have to end stream after this fight. I work tomorrow. I want to kiss and cuddle my husband, but welcome on in. Glitchy life. Hi. Ba -da -da. You're trying to play a game, but couldn't stop talking. It became a just chatting stream. Those are the best streams because you just have such a wonderful time with your great community. I'm going to reset my facial tracking so I can continue to have a great time right here. It's thinking, oh, there we go. Hell yeah. Sleep well any do? I'm sure I will. Yeah. I, it always takes my brain a second to calm down after how cool stream is. Hmm. So... Oh, this is actually perfect. Double slice? This is exactly the stuff I want right now. Okay. You're gonna energize me. I don't care if you burn me. This is a perfect combo. Okay. We're gonna slow and steady win this race. <laughs> We're guaranteed to kill them uh, on this next turn, the bottom one. So I'm not worried about anything because the incinerate gives us the wall. There we go. Now we're extra safe from the wall. So where was that? Double slice? Do it. Do it again. Fountus is dead. Boyle's not going to hit because of the wall. Oh, they're, they're dead anyway because of the poison. And the poison should kill you, Smog Magog. Oh, let's go. Self-destruct. Who cares? I have a wall. Oh, and it even updrafts me too. Amazing, such a good fight. <laughs> Let's go, I can't believe we won that. I'm so happy. Open. Azure Keystone, hell yeah. This is my souvenir. How, uh, how has Gazeppi spin so far? It's been really fun. Um, I accidentally uh, found the solution to a puzzle that I don't have all the pieces to when I'm exploring a higher level zone than I should be in. 
um, which is always good. Being able to, I don't know, sequence break accidentally <laughs> has become almost like a theme of my channel at this point. There we go. I should be able to teleport from here, right? Can't fast travel here, but I, I can literally see the fast travel system right here. It's through this gate. If they allow you to, that's great. Not breaking the rules. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely not breaking anything, smile. I gotta leave, though. <laughs> I gotta go heal. All right, there we go. There's a secret mirror I accidentally found. <laughs> Joey smug. <laughs> I would love to take a quick break. You know what we have to do? Hmm. Do you think that different worlds can have different logics? What do you mean? Oh, okay, like, so the cassette teeth that record monsters, how do you think it works? Uh, advanced scientific inventions, and they have to be enchanted with magic. Is magic real here? I don't see wizards flying around shooting spells at each other. Hmm. As far as I can tell, the cassette players are just regular old fashioned cassette players. My old man used to have one that looked similar. From what I've been told, the rangers found a bunch of them in the abandoned mall a few years back. We heard that too. And that's where the island supply came from. I guess that's why I ask if you think of a world can have its own logic. Maybe mundane items from our worlds can have different rules in this one. <laughs> what a concept. I'm using that in my story. You're so cute, your story. It's no big deal right now. Just some ideas I'm playing around with. If it becomes something more substantial, I'll let you know. Maybe we should go back to adventuring. It'll give me some more ideas, that's for sure. Oh, I've never got a rotation of level three. <gasps> more added strength to fusions. Oh my God, I'm, I'm maxing out. This is what I wanted to do. Remaster your Kuneko into a more powerful form. Ah, oh, there it is. Your Kuneko became shining Kuneko. When Kuneko unites the four elements of the world within herself, she unlocks her true potential within herself. The cosmic energy flowing within her gives her a power level off the scale. Whoa, just like Iron Duke, hi. Also Chrome, Lazarus, whoa. It's cute, it'll pop in a sec. There we go, hi. Also Glorifox, have a great night. That's gonna be me pretty soon, I gotta go EP. Well, well, thanks for the raid. You're just a wolf who wants to have fun. Well, I relate to you. Maybe one day uh, I can max out my cassette tape, get five stars, become just like Shining Kuneko, have powerful wings, a magical floating kunai. Uh, who am I kidding? I'll never be cool as Shining Kuneko. <laughs> I hope your stream is super good. Looks like you're playing Genshin Impact. How'd that go for you? Welcome on in. Nice, nice, nice. That was great. Hey, Kelv, just dropping by the viewers. You have work soon. Thanks for taking care of them. Yeah, of course. Hope you have a great time at work. Doing fine, just weeklies. That's still fun. That's still a good time. I definitely have to uh, <laughs> restock. Well, I guess next time I stream this, we're going to have to go back to that spot over there <laughs> that I accidentally found. I don't know. I'm kind of emotionally torn because I'm like, hey, Kelv. You literally still haven't finished exploring the entire map over here, but you accidentally found the solution to an end game puzzle and it's kind of cool that you can go out of order and we should embrace it. But also I kind of want to do all this stuff. Does, does the game, hmm. Well, somebody said I have to do something else before I can win the game, which is probably for the best. Oh, take a breather, stretchy save. Mm. Oh, I can do all those things. Thank you. <laughs> ah. Oh, that was a good stretch. But yeah, it's a... Uh... Oh, okay, see ya. Yeah, have a good night. But yeah, that was a really cool play session. What do we do? How do I even see like what rangers that we fought? I guess you could look at just the quest log. Yeah, we did all the don't you want me. That was pretty great. I guess it doesn't show me the completed, uh, oh, achievements? Oh, maybe achievements. Oh, we should go talk to this dude. Oh, I should go talk to them and see if I get more rewards. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, he's in here to the right. What is it, like every five? Oh, cutscene. Cleo says, I simply find it difficult to sympathize with the plight of the human race. Hey, that's understandable. People can be confusing. 
unpredictable. Nah, I disagree. Humans are not unpredictable. You can predict their behavior very easily. In fact, human beings will make the stupidest decision possible in any given scenario, as long as you have a minuscule short-term reward. Oh, I draw kill Foxy Foxy. I appreciate your honest analysis, Cleo. <laughs> Humans generally don't make decisions based on the odds. They make them on emotions. So do I. My emotions tell me that mankind is inherently stupid and will eventually sow the seeds of his own destruction. True. Well, until that happens, your services and the Rangers will still be valued. Hmm. I like her. I do like Cleo. <laughs> yeah, Vadio, go take care of yourself. Have a beautiful night. Can I do this? Hell yeah. <laughs> Greetings. Oh. Goodness gracious. Sixty-four. Thank you. Hell yeah. Ethereal tapes. Astral type monsters. Lots of plastic. Fused material. Okay. Cleo is great. She's so fun. She's so fun. She's so good. That was a great play session. We got so much done today. Whoa. Efficiency. I love to see that. That's pretty great. But yeah. Um, I know I just got a bunch of raiders. <laughs> I know I just had like a bunch of friends stop by. Um, but it's definitely getting late for me, and I would love to spend a little bit of time with my husband before he passes the heck out. And before I do the same. But yeah, thanks everybody for stopping by. Thanks everybody for being so wonderful, such a nice part of my life. I appreciate all you, just like Void Lord. Hi. So I'm gonna decide uh, who I wanna raid. Send some friends on over to Ringo Woo. Hi. You know, Ringo Woo. What if, what if, what if, you know, Ringo, Ringo Woo? Has that ever been a thought in your mind? <laughs> Thanks for stream. Yeah, I had a great time. It was very fun. Ooh, I haven't seen them in a little bit. Lots of cool people around. Good choices. They've been going for a while, so they might be ending soon. Let's see. Oh, this person just started 20 minutes in? Hell yeah. This is a friend that uh, I hung out with at FWA for a little bit. Only be going 18 minutes. Let's go. Sharky Char. Sharky Char is in fact a char on the internet. They're a sweetheart. I like them. I hope you like them too if you don't know them. Um, yeah, it was a good stream. We almost went for five hours and... Uh, well, we got like, what, three rangers, a couple archangels. I finally beat the first ranger. <laughs> uh, we got a lot of new critters. Uh, Kuneko, so good, so cute. Love them. Kangaroo coming through. Sharky, also hi, AK, bye, AK. It was nice seeing you, even though it wasn't very long in VR chat on Friday. It was still fun talking. Thanks for almost five hours. Exclamation point, Kangy, exclamation point, cute. Much love to you and your hubby. Thank you, yeah. It's gonna be a good night. I'm gonna go rest my haunches, rest my voice, and uh, rest my body as soon as I fall asleep. Whatever you get up to tomorrow, I hope you remember to be kind to yourself. Either go on a walk, have a popsicle, make a piece of toast, something that'll make you smile. That's your mission. And the next time you stop by my stream, tell me what you did for yourself, okay? But until then, here's my little raid message, just the, the kangaroo coming through if you happen to have my emotes. Otherwise, just say, hi, Sharky. You're so cool and handsome and fun and buff and stuff. Yeah. Have a good one, everybody.